And then Ricky and Evan, they're at the end of the corner. And then it's just me and like six, seven guys, Austin McBroom, his brother, and then a bunch of like big dudes, like fighter people. And then they all they all literally just turn to me. And then they're like, they're like, you better call your boys. You were gonna beat your right here. We gonna yeah. beat it up right here and we gonna leave you. <laughs> Hey, she can yeah. tell. Whole can... club faded out the smell. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the It Is What It Is podcast. It is another boys only episode, but we are joined by one of our good friends, Evan Cody, right here. Welcome. Wow. Round of applause. Round of applause. AKA Conor McGregor's son. And that is a fact. You're Conor McGregor's son, right? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So but he, he likes, he's humble about it. You know, a lot of people don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Conor yeah. McGregor has an older son. Yeah. Real humble about it, but has Conor McGregor tattooed on the back of his back. Oh, the fact? I don't know about that fact. I don't know. But he is the son. That's yeah, the only yeah, thing we can yeah, confirm. Yeah, right. We yeah. filmed a good bit of videos with him. He came on tour with us back in 2019, and he's also been there for some of the most treacherous and huddy times that me and Ricky have gone through, including... The situation with Austin McBroom where we almost got jumped in a back alley in L.A. Yeah. And he was also there when me and Ricky were in Miami and we got robbed, lost our computer oh, yeah. and a bunch of stuff. We'll get into those stories in a little bit. Basically for all the worst times he's been there. Yeah. So you know he's a real one. I've been through the, the hard times, the depths. Damn. Yeah. Have I been there for any of these hard times? Oh, wait. No, you just show up when it's, no. when it's uh, good when the celebration. Good. Yeah. <laughs> And the guy. I was in Miami though, but I'd let bro something. Yeah, he, he knew we were oh, about yeah, to get robbed. He, so. dipped the, he left the boys. He ditched the boys. Yeah, yeah. he ditched us right before we got robbed. Shoot. And you actually yeah. were supposed to bro. come to LA before we did the Osmic Broom, but then. Yeah. We'll get, into, we'll, yeah, we'll get into yeah, yeah. those stories in a little bit, but I have to point out. Appreciate Evan for always being there on the hard times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, it's though, you know what they say? They're I saying. Left. You know what the saying is? What? What's the saying? If they can't be with you during the worst, then they don't deserve to be with you during the yeah. best. And EC has really been. Through the worst, through the ringer with the boys, making me feel like I'm a freaking I'm bad friend. Man. I'm joking, bro. I'm joking. Hey man, it's just feel how you gonna feel. It's just crazy coincidence, coincidence that Bud always has happens to leave right at the right time. Yeah, yeah. Maybe L luck, I guess. Maybe <laughs> I'm just kidding. Low key, EC is setting us up, and he's he's a little traitor because all the bad things <laughs> tend to happen when we're with him. It's true. Ooh. We'll see what happens today on the podcast. Hop off this no, pod. But speaking yeah. of bad things, my friends. Well, I had to point out a crazy coincidence. This is episode number 23. And one here, Rick, you're about to turn 23. Oh, I am. Literally, this Saturday, if you guys are watching this when it drops, this hey. Saturday, you're turning 23. Uh, and this is episode number 23. I didn't even know that. Episode number 23. Hey, let's go. Jordan year, baby. Claim that. I'm going crazy hitting all the buzzer beaters. I don't even know what that means, but I'm here hitting real life buzzer beaters. Yo, speaking of Jordan year, are you more of like a Jordan guy or, or Kobe? Like, who did you... Mm. Who was like your favorite player growing up? Random question. Or LeBron. Mm. Honestly, I love Kobe. His yeah. like just his personality and his like tenacity. Yeah. But speaking of bad things, we were speaking of bad things that happened. Well, speaking of bad things, what happened uh, and the other day? You said dude, you had something to tell me? One of like it was literally like I've had a couple near death experiences and this was one of them, bro. It was literally insane. They have no idea this happened. So the other day, you guys know your boy drives an i8, a BMW i8. Okay. So yeah. I was driving the i8 on the highway, right? I'm just driving. I'm driving along. I'm driving along, and mm -hmm. I'm about to get off at an exit. So I get off at this exit, and literally, I hear my tire go, pfft, literally just explodes, bro. Just randomly. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just explodes. The tire explodes. And then I'm like... I'm still driving on it because I'm like, yo, it's okay. I'm just telling myself in my mind, yo, it's going to be okay. You just hear a massive hey. pfft, And is your car like this? Like yeah, your yeah. car <laughs> cars drop down like this? Every time, it's okay. Every time the tire goes around, it, I'm driving like this. Oh, like I you could hear it. the rim riding on the ground like it was like. Oh, it was definitely rim. It was rimmed out. Yeah. It was no bad. Way. Dude. So, so as I'm pulling off this exit, I literally pull over and I'm not, I've been in sketchy situations before and I feel like I know how to handle myself. But I'm driving a BMW i8. I have a bunch of camera equipment in the car, a laptop. And it just so happens your boy busted a tire right in the middle of the hood. And I'm no. talking the hood, bro. <laughs> like, I'm talking the hood where, like, yeah. you pull up on the gas station and there's 20 dudes posted outside like this. Just, just right like... Did they, did they ask yeah. if you wanted to buy their mixtape or no? So... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So this is what happened. I it literally that happened. I pulled. I like had to pull over because it was so bad. And there's literally 20 dudes at a gas station just like this. 
Just staring at you? Yeah, bro. And I'm in the I-8 and I'm like, bro, what do I do? Because I was like, man, I can be like chill and stuff, but like you never know how it's going to go. Yeah. yeah especially yeah, yeah. in the I-8, it was like, it stood out so much. Like, yeah. uh, you know what I mean? Especially, Everyone, yeah. I-8 in the you. hood. Yeah, it just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> everybody's looking at you. So even, and, even if you're not in the hood, I-8 sticks out. Yeah. yeah everybody yeah. breaks their neck, bro. Especially there. Especially what there. Happened? It was breaking out. So, so I'm sitting there and I make a split second decision. I'm talking like, I think about it for five seconds. And I'm like, yo, I got to send it. I'm like, yo, I'm not, I'm not getting, I'm not getting jumped out here. I, no I, like I was like, yo, no. I'm not, I don't, I didn't know what was going to happen. It was sketchy, bro. Like oh. I didn't know what was going to happen, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what did you do? You so I'm like, away. yo, I got to go to like the nearest, uh, Wawa because that's like a quality, quality yeah, gas yeah, station. Yeah, you know? Definitely. So I look up Wawa on my phone. Bro. It says three miles away, bro. No. And your boy is like, Hmm. Bro. I'm like, Hmm. I don't even get out to look at the tire. I'm like, I don't even want to get out of the car. So I, I make a U-turn. Pop back on the highway. No. And you know what? Back on yeah, the yeah, highway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is bad. This is very bad. Horrible decision. Bro, how fast are you driving on a pop tire? Bro, you'll see. So, you know the exit, the, mer the merge lane. You, there's a merge lane where you enter the highway, and then there's a bunch of lanes that are already going, like, full speed. You know oh, what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I enter the merge lane, and I'm, like, I'm still, like, debating it in my mind. I'm, like, I'm like yo, I got to go to Wawa. But, and for all those of you guys that don't know what Wawa is, it's basically, like, a really quality gas station out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I'm going on the highway, and I'm like, yo, I got to send it. I'm just one of those guys where, like, if I send it, I send it. So I send it, and I'm on the highway, and I pulled out in front of none other than a semi-truck barreling down, bro. Bruh. And I was like, bro, this is Bruh. bad. I literally had to gas it. I was going to try to go, like, slow, but he couldn't stop. Like, he was, like, really close to me. So I gas it. I'm going, like, maybe 85 on a flat tire, bro. Boom, 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 boom. That's what it sounded like. Bro, it spreads the tire and just rip off. Yeah. Like, completely. And just like bare rim, just Dude, grinding on the, on the asshole. The worst scenario that Sparks could happen to your car literally could have like, if you have no tire on one of the tires, I feel like your car could have just like flipped and you could have done Dude. like, Dude, you could have died. I was so scared. I was so scared that the tower was going to rip off the rim. Like, I don't know what happens to the rim. And I skirt out to the side and I'm like sideways, horizontal on the highway. And then cars just come and demolish me. So like I drive and I'm going like 85 and it's, the tire sounds so bad. So I'm like, yo, forget this. There's a median, but it's not a full median. Like the side, like little thing. Yeah. It's like enough to barely park my car. So I pull over to the side. I hop out real quick, lift the door, close it before the semi truck goes by and I'm standing there and cars are going past me like, like 90, hundred miles an hour. So now you're out of the hood and now you're just on the side of the highway. Yeah. But it's not a normal median. It's like a tiny median. Like I'm talking, like cars are like inches away like, from like the what's it called the the shoulder, I'm shoulder, sorry, the, the shoulder, shoulder. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I meant to say, the shoulder. So I'm like, yo, bro. I was like, yo, if I stay in here any longer, I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna get hit. And I was literally listening to a Joe Rogan podcast the other day where he was talking about one of his uh, like his uh, OG friends <gasps> got yeah. got hit while being on the side of a shoulder. Bro, yeah. who's the football There's player that just got hit? Oh, freaking Dwayne yeah. Haskins or something, right? Yeah, he just yeah. got hit. Yeah, but I think he was crossing the road though. I don't think he was just like sitting on but, but not only that, but. we saw, I was driving the other day and I saw a car get hit right in front of me, got T-boned. No then way. the other day I saw another car got hit. So in my mind, all these car accident stories, and I'm like, bro, I'm about to die. So I make another split second decision. I'm like, yo, I got to send it. Again, the Wawa is. <laughs> so why'd you pull over? Why'd you pull over? You just because I was like, yo, I don't feel safe. But now I feel more, less safe on the shoulder. Oh, okay. worse. So yeah. I hop in the car and I'm like, bro. I got to send it. But the exit is all the way on the left. Most exits are on the right. This one was yeah. on the left to go to the Wawa. It's a five-lane highway. Mm -hmm. And it's like right there. It's like 300 yards ahead. So I got 300 yards to go five lanes. So I'm like, boys, I'm going to send it. I fully gas it. It's like spinning out on the back right tire. What? And I skirt in front of a car, barely make it, pull into the Wawa, and the tire was like messed Gone. up. You have a picture? <laughs> yeah, I have a picture. picture I have a picture. Let's pop it up. Pop it up. Let's see. I want to no, see No, no, you can't see it. We got to pop it up right here. I want to see it, bro. No, no leave it for suspense. Just... You got to watch the podcast after. It's right here, bro. All right. Bro, let me see the picture. No, bro, save it for save it for right here. Where? <clears throat> bro, you were literally just explaining like a video game story. Like, what? But in my mind, the whole time I was like, yo, I'm going to die. I'm going to yeah. die. I thought it was over, bro. I thought I was going to get barreled down on like cars and just get demolished. Hey, well, let's thank God that you're here right now with us. Yeah. I'm glad I'm here oh. with the boys. It's a blessing to be here, honestly. Did you, so you got your car back? You're... They fixed the tire. Everything's good now. Damn, is the rim like hudded? Or just, just, yeah, just tires. tires. Uh, they had to replace the entire right side of the car. The whole car they had to replace. Oh, wow. Totaled it. But he just dropped it? in a new one. <laughs> That's crazy. Flat yeah. down in the driveway. What really happened? No, though? they actually replaced like all the tires and then they fixed the back right rim. Damn. Dang, bus. Well, we're glad, you're glad, you're glad you made it here. Okay, you know? 
Yep. Maybe it was meant to be because, you know, what if something happened? Like, say say your, your tire didn't pop. What if you got in an accident and it went, it didn't pop? Yeah. Yeah, it saved Boom. you. Could have saved Low you. key. Like, say I was about to get in an accident and then I missed it because I pulled off Bro, into the I hood. I always yeah. think of that stuff. Like do, you, like, do you ever think of that? Like, yeah. You're like, dang, like, if I didn't stop at Circle K, would I have gotten in an accident or got hit by a freaking semi truck? Well, you know? I don't know. There's been times where bad stuff has happened and I'm like, I did just not. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know? It can go both sure. ways. It can go both yeah. ways. But I think it's a good way to look at stuff so that you can tell yourself, like, yeah. you're happy with the situation of, like, messing like, up. Yeah. Like, if you're late to like, somewhere, say, like, yo, I'm late because if I would have been on time, I would have got hit. Yeah. And it makes you feel better. So it's, yeah. like, just always be thankful for that moment in time. Yeah. And if something bad happens, then maybe you learn. Maybe I shouldn't go to Circle K next time. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You ever Facts. see those videos of the tires? The tires somehow come off of a car and they just go flying. Uh-uh. Oh, oh, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, and then yeah, they just yeah, roll yeah, for like miles about, and just yeah. like hit cars. Bro, could you imagine like a big semi truck like tire? Like those things are kind of like, like they're like three feet tall. Yeah. Bro, imagine that thing that just like goes flying off and then <laughs> it just like Dude, nails that, like another car. It happens, and just like bro. Rushes no the car. I've seen some videos like that. That's what I was imagining happening to you. Yeah, I'm still I, bad. Still, you see Ricky good, sitting though. on like the side of the highway, and then all of a sudden, you see like a four foot tire just come flying, and Ricky like turns around and boop, <laughs> just gets like smashed. That would suck. <laughs> There's his own tire. That would not be ideal. <laughs> oh yeah, it's actually the own I tire. You know what else is not ideal, not key? What? This is terrible transition. It has nothing to do with that. <laughs> but but we all know we all know. Um, me and Ricky and Evan, we were all kind of caught up in the social gloves drama scandal, whatever happened. And pretty much, they had last, their last event was in Miami, and it, it was, uh, the event, it was cool. Like, p- production value was pretty good, honestly. Like, if I'm being honest, I hate Austin, but, like, production value, gotta give it to him. It was yeah. definitely a quality event. <clears throat> it yeah, was definitely yeah, quality, yeah, yeah. like, compared to, like, these other, like, YouTube fights and stuff. Like, they definitely spent a lot of money they didn't have on oh, it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and they spent a lot of uh, money they didn't have because literally. most of their fighters, uh, as we all know, like, they didn't get paid, or I don't know how it went down, but Austin went to court with Live by Live, which is yeah. the company that he, they put it on together. And then he ended up having to pay, I think some, some of the fighter pay, but no mm-hmm. one got like their how full did, amount. How did that all There's happen money. Like how did, so how did he like promise all these fighters like 100K, 200K, 1 mil, but then. Shady guy, bro. Like, and then not, how did it not happen? Did he just like expect it to like, do a lot I, better and it just taught it? Yeah. Yeah. He ex- and he's filed for like bankruptcy too. And so it's like weird. Basically, I mean. he banked on it like having like millions of viewers. Yeah, and he's like, he it's probably be got the like the biggest boxing thousand. event. Yeah, it's going to be like the ever. biggest event ever. He projected the sales. I forget what it was, but he had like a pitch deck that he would like show to companies and like to get sponsors and stuff. And I forget what it said. It said like a million plus sales is like what it said on the pitch deck, yeah. which is like then he equivalented the million plus sales to however much money was that was for like per fight, like $20 yeah. times a million. I think it was more than $20, but whatever it was. And then he'd yeah. say, oh, we're going to make this much money so yeah. we can afford to do this and this. But then Buddy flopped and got 140K sales. Yeah, I thought it was like 100 something. Woo-hoo. And it goes to show sometimes you have the millions and millions of followers, but you can't have that in-person poll. But um, it's a different kind of poll. What's crazy is, <laughs> what's crazy is, I thought that, I thought uh, he'd be done. He'd be done trying to put on the boxing event, Austin yeah. McBroom. Like he 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 beat Bryce, even though he, they said he knocked out Bryce when he like threw him down. But he he oh, yeah. beat he beat Bryce, and then I was like, okay, well, maybe he'll fight again. But I don't think he's gonna put on another boxing event. Maybe he'll be part of someone else's. Like maybe he'll learn his lesson from losing millions of dollars. Well, after a reputation like that, how does anybody trust you to put on another one? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. But apparently, somehow people got do him. trust him. They him. trust him enough to throw another event. I don't know what he's promising fighters, but well, if is he throwing it? $5. Is he throwing it, or is someone else throwing it like for him? And he's just like a like a player or like an athlete in the thing. Well, we all know Social Gloves was the people who put on last okay. Austin McBroom yeah. boxing event. So who's yeah. put on this one? And Social Gloves is Austin Same. McBroom. Like it's this like Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Austin McBroom owns owner, Social right? Gloves. Yeah. This squad. And it's, we had that we we all three had that intuition before it was announced. Yeah. Like long before we were like, yo, he's running this, bro. When he did all the sketchy stuff. And then it come come to find out that um the event that Austin McBroom is fighting in on July thirtieth. Is hosted by Social Gloves or put on by Social Gloves, bro. Who's gonna watch that now after all the drama, dude? And Austin McBroom is fighting Inisian Gibb. I don't know. Inisian Gibb. I don't know. Inisian Gibb, boost the big gibber. 
the, the big, big gibber, gibber. seven figure gibber, the boost. seven figure gibber. You clap Taylor Isn't he Holder's like some cheeks. Five two, like bro, he, short chubby guy. No, bro, he literally no, clapped bro. Taylor Holder's cheeks. Everyone was hyping up Taylor Holder. Love Taylor Holder, but like everyone was hyping him up to be like the best and trained by Canelo. And then Big Gibber just came in there and did work. Yeah. And then they gave him the draw. Yeah, gave him the draw, but they ended up oh, they, overturning called, it. Yeah. But still, his moment was taken away because they overturned it like a day later. I hey, actually you think to, you want the W in the. Yeah, you. Yeah. I want to hear the crowd cheer and everything, yeah, yeah. bro. But I, I think it's going to be a good fight, bro. He clapped. He clapped Taylor Holder. So now he's face, facing uh, Austin McBroom. Damn. Who, who do you think is winning? I'm going Big Gibber. Uh, I, I want Big Gibber, bro. Just from seeing, I mean, I don't know, bro. Like honestly, like I have mad respect for like all these like YouTube boxers, except for or, Austin. Like. Yeah, or, like, no YouTube respect. boxers. <laughs> like, even Jake Paul. Like, Jake Paul, bro. Like that Probably Jake Paul the most. Yeah, yeah. probably <laughs> Jake Paul the most. But like, but, like, all these other things. Like, bro, you would watch boxing and you'd be like, okay, like, that's pretty easy. Like, throwing punches. Like, nah. Like, I was trying boxing, like, a week ago at the gym. And, bro, like, that shit is so hard. Like, to, like, just, like, to learn how to throw your, like, throw your hands and, like, actually stand and, like, properly, like, not get hit and also throw a punch at the same time. Bro, it's so hard. Yeah, it's definitely. So, I'm just saying, like, I have technical. mad respect for even, like, you, bro. Like, that shit's crazy. Once you try it, you definitely have like a lot more respect and you and like, it's see addicting. what goes into it. Yeah. And it's exhausting. Like I low key want to get into it just because it's good cardio and it's just like good I don't know, cardio. It, it seems fun. But who do you who do you think's winning? Oh, who do I think's winning? Austin McBroom or I mean Yeah. I think Austin, Big Gibber and I want Big Gibber to demolish Austin until his face needs facial reconstruction from the hospital. <laughs> pull up, pull up. So, yeah, I'm serious. I wouldn't be surprised after watching like uh Austin McBroom like kind of like choke against Bryce Hall, I guess. I don't know. Didn't he kind of choke? Like he still won. I don't know but, if I don't know if Austin was I, really good or Bryce was just really hot. I think yeah. Bryce wasn't that good, and yeah. and Austin's just athletic. Yeah, but Big Gibber is good, athletic. bro. I think it's gonna be a great fight. I yeah. think I think Gib. I want Anderson Gib, whatever the heck his name is, to win. But I also wouldn't be shocked if. You know, like Austin McBroom. You, came this out. is how he's hedging his bets. I'm always like this. Always, he always, I'm always does like this for this. everything. No, no, no. I'm sticking to one thing. I want Anderson Gib. Anderson Gib because I fucking. Oh, sorry. You're okay, bro. I hate. I hate. Hate, hate Austin McBroom, bro. Good save. Because it's just, you, like, you so can't fake. Lie. Every time that we, we, yeah. we're we betting on the Super Bowl, we're betting on, like, anything, like, uh, Mason will go, I want this team, but I really think the other team, and I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if he won, yeah. but yeah. at the same time, if he won, I would be happy. No. Not mad. I'm being it's decisive like, here. Can't lose, can't lose I'm being decisive. Both. I'm picking Anderson Gibb. Fudge Austin McBroom, bro. Okay, yeah. Okay. I'm, oh, let's go. Gibb all day. I want him to lose. Yeah. Gibb I, all day. I, I That's won, not even a question. I want Gibb to win, and I think he's going to win. But they also just announced another fight on the card, and it is none other no than way. NCK. No, I'm just kidding. Not nah, who bro. is it? Oh, I I, yeah, I have to talk about that after. Oh, all right. Something happened uh, with them. Social gloves again. But no the, the next fight that they announced on the card is Blueface, who fought on the same no event that I fought in. Dude, oh my gosh, Blueface is trash. It's Blueface versus that fight was interesting versus Swaggy P. Nick Young, the basketball Nick player. Nick Young from the Lakers. Oh, that's going to be good. Nick Young all day. Lakers? Nick yeah, Young all guy, day. You know this Swaggy guy, Swaggy P, he has like the crazy oh, no, shoe collection. Face. No, that's not that's Blue Swaggy face. P. Oh, that's looks Swaggy P. Like <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Similar. Wait, wait. Look, go to the right. Go to the right. Let me see a blue face. Oh, they oh. definitely look similar. Wait, what the fudge? They look like twins. Really? Swaggy P, bro. I mean, he's a, he's on the Lakers. Uh, are they both like toothpicks? Are they both toothpicks? Like really skinny, like 6'5"? I don't know. Swaggy, Swaggy P is skinnier. I'm picking Swaggy P, bro. I'd have to go with the basketball player, bro. Swaggy P. Have to. Yeah. Swaggy P is just Swaggy, bro. He's, He's going to have a crazy outfit. That's all I know. We saw what happened to the last basketball player. Nate Robinson got absolutely clapped. Yeah, but that I was mean, Jake. Now you're a uh, Blueface? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Blueface you know? is uh, just a rapper, bro. Yeah. That's true. I mean, bro, that his fight against Kane. That wasn't even fair, bro. Was like, the height difference and the everything. Oh, that's true, though. That's true. And he didn't even like. It looked so awkward. He's so lanky. I didn't even watch the fight, honestly, because like, I was in the back room. It was crazy. Yeah, right. It was, like, <laughs> demolishing. Wait, so can you talk about the Social Gloves thing, like, on the pod or no? Yeah, yeah. So, oh, this is, this is what yeah, I Yeah, what happened? So, Social Gloves, uh, they made a post. They made a post saying, we're announcing the fight in three days. Okay. And then I, I commented on that, and then I was like... What'd you comment? Well, oh, that's what I'm getting to, buddy. All right. I thought you were going to skip over it. I, I commented, um, another fight... Don't you have lawsuits that in court you got to fight? <laughs> yeah, how are they, they going to afford all this? <laughs> and then they deleted my comment, bro. No. Oh, yes. Bro. They deleted it? They deleted my comment. That's soft. Wow, that's soft. Yeah, for real, bro. Just leave it. Oh, that sucks, They couldn't take bro. the heat. But if you ain't got nothing to hide, you'll leave it up, bro. Exactly. Damn. For real, bro. That's so soft. I love... Oh, man, that's... All but, right, so what did, what did they say? 
Was that it? Yeah, social gloves. Hey. They never. They just deleted the comment. That was it. Hey. We got to pull up to the event, bro. But I'm, I'm down. Where's it at? It's in LA this time. Why don't yo? Why don't we like all like? Why don't you get in contact with some people around here and get throw your own boxing match and put like other smaller? It's a big thing. It's a hard thing. It's bro. tough. I mean, as you can see, you know. Yeah. Don't wanna. Yeah, you don't wanna take L. You don't want to take out or go bankrupt. And, uh, yeah, that's not cute. I want to pay my fighters, you know? So, I want to be a good yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I want to have yeah. respect, you know? <laughs> yeah, in the community. Definitely. You don't want to get hutted. <laughs> and, and it's and tough. If you're you. not, like, Austin McBroom, he's, like, he's a bigger name for sure. Like, yeah. he's got, like, 15 But I feel like no he doubt. has such low respect level from uh, everyone now. I, I think. Now? I don't definitely know. It's such less a weird now, thing, though, because, like, Blueface and Swaggy P, I mean, those are pretty big names fighting on your on his card who already got... Yeah, because that. But they're in, just going for the baggies, in, It brings bro. in like a lot of the athletes. But are they even going to get the baggies though? Oh, true, true. They're going for the baggies. No, they're probably but smart enough. I to think get they might. guaranteed bags now. Well, yeah, bro, yeah, they're the, bringing in an athlete, and then they're also bringing in a rapper. That's two different, like totally different, like view, like viewers. So it's Everyone, like I feel like there's bound to be like a crap load of people watching it. I don't know if it's going to be crazy. I don't know. Hey, we'll see. Because how much is know. you know how like? I bet it's more crazy than the Austin McBroom thing though. The Mainly, first one. The first one, yeah. I don't know. But I don't again, know. If, yeah, I just think they're gonna probably shit. promise less. Like they were promising millions. They're probably gonna promise like twenty thousand, twenty five thousand, fifty thousand dollar bags. If I'm being honest, probably. Yeah, no yeah, way. Blueface yeah. ain't doing it for twenty k. He'll probably. I, I feel like Blueface would do it for like fifty thousand. No way. I feel like he would. No way. Is he falling off? No, he's bro. not falling off. But I feel like he would. Yo, not like maybe a hundred k. I think he would do it, bro. Maybe a hundred k. That's more. That's like five times as much as twenty k. But I was saying twenty five, fifty, hundred. Like the other ones, they were promising like five hundred, seven hundred thousand million to these. Yeah, but oh yeah, yeah. You know, Dude, it's so tough though. I mean, he's in music, and you have YouTubers. Who really brings more pull? I mean, Blueface is a big name. A lot of people know Blueface. Big name, but it's but like is he bringing that? Is but he, is he, yeah, is he actually pole? bringing pull? Is he bringing that boxing pull, like, though? Is he, is he worth 100K? Like, dude, his fans just want to bust down. They don't want to see him. <laughs> yeah. Do they, they just want to hit the club. You they know? don't want to, yeah. All right, Mason, I, uh, show the camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Go ahead. We'll keep it going. We'll keep it going. Real quick. Is that okay? You wear a diaper? <laughs> no, it's, okay. it's not okay. Your 10-day contract. Bro, I should have wore a diaper, man. No diapers. Come on, guy. Oh, fudge me. Bro. Get your life together, dog. Speaking of diapers, I shot my pants the other day. <laughs> did you really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Bro, what do you mean, did I really? I sent you, you guys a picture. It, <laughs> I didn't I didn't look at it fully. Yeah, I, bro. I tried to get off my screen as quick as possible. Yeah. I shot my pants, bro. This is not even cap. This is, like, real. I shot my pants. I had to fart. I thought it was just a fart. And then, you know, <laughs> it was more than a fart. I sharted. Did you have boxes on? Yes. And it oh, went okay. through. It went through. Yeah, that's... that's through the I don't boxers. Know what to say about that. It went through the boxers and then I I checked. wait through yes Dude. it threw the boxers and then I took my shorts off and then there was, there was like a little stain. It. He had force behind it. I yes there was force. It was like like a little. Poof. No, I ain't popping on the picture for this one. Sorry y'all, but just know it happened and they saw the picture and it was yeah. real. It and my happened. pants and underwear are in the garbage now. Dude, Dude it happens to all of us, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, sp- speaking it? of all, of it, it happened to me. I'm gonna tell my story. That was a crazy story. I think you remember it. <gasps> we were over here. Not the one that where I got shot in the face. A different one. <laughs> this was one maybe. Oh, a Mace, ye- you're just in time. We're oh, talking about uh, bathroom stories. Oh, I so I have something really good. Oh wait, because I was in the middle of mine. I was right, in the middle go of mine. Ahead, I can hear you. So, so, so about a year ago, I think I was literally sitting on this couch, where? and Nick was sitting right here. Right. Uh, I think I was sitting right there. <laughs> no. <laughs> that okay. explains the yeah. stain. Yeah. Right don't there. mind the poop stain right there. Fudge. But. Literally. I was sitting right here, and I think I was FaceTiming our cousin, and I hadn't talked to him in, like, maybe a couple years, maybe, like, a year or two. Long time. And we, I just answered the call, and I was like, yo, I didn't want to say, yo, I have to go to the bathroom. I was like, yo, I can hold it, because you can normally hold your poop in for, like, a little bit, you know? <laughs> oh, my gosh, yes. So, I'm yeah. sitting there, and I'm, like, on FaceTime, and I'm like, dude, I have to fart a little bit, so I'm going to let it out. So, I, <laughs> I, I, I drop a little fart. And nothing happens, so I'm like, yo, I'm just going to keep... You know when you have to poop and you fart oh. a bunch before you have to poop? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like so, the bubbles, yeah. like the bubble guts, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The bubble guts, exactly. Oh, yeah. So I'm farting, and I'm farting, and I'm just like, mm, I'm feeling good. I don't even need to poop anymore. And Let that's out, because... Like steamer. Literally, in one of the farts, I released... And a whole turd came out, bro. No. A whole turd, like this big. And I have a no. video. Dude, Nick, it was like the size of my fist, Nick, bro. You can see it. Nick started filming. No. I ran to the bathroom. I ended the call with my cousin. Ran to the bathroom. And I'm waddling to the bathroom. And I pull down. And it's literally sitting in my underwear. I'm being real descriptive and real personal with y'all. Yo, instead it's of si- one hit, we're going to start calling you one 
Shit. Yeah. Say it, say it. <laughs> One shit. shit. Dude, and it's One si- shit Rick. Literally, it's sitting in my underwear. I look down and I'm just sitting on the toilet and I'm looking at it and I'm like, wow, that actually happened, bro. bro we have a video. Fist. Dude, it was, it was that, bro. No yo, way how the heck did that come out of your butt? That doesn't just slip out, bro. No, yo, that's, yo. What, that's what I'm saying. Wait, before you go. You know what you're doing. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> when, when I shat my pants the other day, or sharded the other day, it was like a fart, and it, it was like liquidy, and my stomach wasn't feeling well, and it just like, that kind of slips out. <laughs> how does a whole turd slip out of your butthole, buddy? That doesn't slip well, out. That had to be forcefully pushed let me, out. Re- let me reenact how I was yeah. sitting on the couch. I was sitting on the couch like this. I was on FaceTime like this, bro. What? Bro, no what? wonder why I fell out, bro. Buddy. That's prime position. <laughs> yeah. Yo, 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 wait. Speaking of like bro, all this stuff. Bro, it's messed up, right? That's messed up. Oh, that's definitely messed it up. It hasn't happened since though. Should, should we Sorry pop, y'all had to hear that. Should we pop the vid up? Should, we can pop the it up. Vid. No, bro. We can't pop that up, <laughs> oh, okay. Bro. Yo, yo, speaking of like all this like nonsense that we're talking about, I was just in the bathroom and I was like, bro, I like heard you guys talking. I was like, I have a funny story to tell. Or not like funny story, but it's like, I don't know if this has ever happened to you or like anybody out there watching this. I know for a fact it actually has, but like if you're... At, like you know when like you're hanging out with a girl it's like you're not like dating her yet yeah or you're, like you're, talking or even if you have a girlfriend like honestly you might not be that comfortable bro but like if you're ever like like you know when you're just hanging out with a girl and like a little fart comes along and like you yeah. ever hold him in do you definitely, hold him in or not definitely hold him in definitely, let him sneak, bro. sneak out a little bit definitely don't want to be disrespectful bro, i mean i'll let it sneak <laughs> out if like it. i'm driving and like i can put the window down so like she can't tell and the song is loud you know and what she's saying? like why you put the window yeah. down and i'll be like oh, it's nice outside <laughs> <laughs> oh dude i've totally done that like i was in a car and i was like dang bro it's so nice outside bro she's like damn oh, but but no, back back to what I was saying is that like, if, bro, it's so bad to hold it in because yesterday I was like hanging out with some friends and bro, I had to hold it in like the whole like six hours that we were all hanging out, bro. My you stomach. couldn't release it in front of friends. You couldn't find a place within no, six bro. hours. You couldn't. My away stomach was like hurting. So Why couldn't bad. you release it in front of them? Because like when you hold it in for too long, it just gets like stuck, and then it's just like an air bubble like in your stomach. Oh yeah. And then you feel like hella bloated. Oh bro. yeah, yeah, that's bad. That's bad. <clears throat> so I think like from now on, if I'm hanging out with you and you hear something slip. It's what I'm doing, bro. It's for the health benefits. Just a though, natural right? gas. Are they really your friends if you can't, you know? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's rip. what I'm saying. Right before this podcast, like, I, I know y'all ain't shy. Right before this podcast, I'm ripping right shy. now, bro. Oh, bro, no, <laughs> me too. I was talking about mainly in front of girls. Oh, so you're hanging out with girls yesterday? Yeah, a bunch of girls. Yeah. There you go. Oh, then tell us, bro. There you the last go. time you told us, you said you were a sad man that was just broken up. No, so I'm now, definitely a happy man. This. Let's hear it then. The people what? love to hear the happy stories, it's right? Just a little life update on Dr. Lane. Just life, a quick one. Right, quick, quick, so quick, a little quick, quick. life update. Quick 30 seconder. 30 uh, second check in with Dr. Basically, I've just been Starting doing timer. me. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Basically, yeah. what I've been up to lately is I've just been doing me. I work uh, at a golf course still. And uh, basically, all I do is just go to the gym, uh, hang out with friends, and yeah. But what about the girl part? Yeah. Oh, the girl part? <laughs> what do the you only, mean? The only part we ask about. Oh, like, I don't want a girlfriend right now, but, like, it's super, like, it's. I just find it, like, entertaining <laughs> to hang out with girls. It is, it is, for sure. You know? Speaking of that, I was hanging out. All right, you, you also checked the, uh, you still got five seconds. I checked the box, but basically I'm just doing me and hanging out with new people and new, Burn, meeting new friends. Boom. Done. All right, there, there we go. There you go. Check that out. There we go, baby. Speaking of girls and taking a dump in your pants, I was, I went and got breakfast with someone the other day. And then we were hanging out, and then I told her, I was like, yo, I got to go to the bathroom. But then, like, the bill was coming, and then it was time to go. So I was like, oh. mm, I'll just hold until after. So I say bye, and then, like, run across the street to, like, a TJ Maxx or, like, a home. Oh. Uh, I went to Home Goods to go use the bathroom there, and I have to go so bad, bro. Like, you know how sometimes you just have to go so bad, it starts hurting, and you, like, literally can't even walk? Oh, that was like me with the farts. <clears throat> Bro, I literally was like hobbling to the bathroom in the back of Home Goods, and then I get to the bathroom, and I'm like, "Oh, thank goodness they have a bathroom. It's open. No one's in there." And then I, there's two stalls. I open the first stall. I look in the toilet. Dude, clogged. Oh. Hella toilet paper, and someone took a dump That's in there. So disgusting. And I was like, "Shoot, I can't take that one." But good thing there's a second stall. I look in the second stall. Same exact, same exact thing. Hella toilet paper, <laughs> massive load right on top of toilet paper. <laughs> the person- That's a classic <laughs> toilet paper layer, and then the turd yeah. on. So then, what does <laughs> NC do? Happen, NC literally goes to the urinal <laughs> and just pulls down his pants, rips it right in the urinal, bro. No, I, I didn't. You were there? That. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Oh, okay. What'd you do? He was I, the one that clogged the toilet, so he knows. <laughs> yeah. 
I went. My bad, boy. I went Wait, he was. You guys were going on a date together. No, stop. My bad, my boy. I went. Sorry, I, go. I went next door. I went my next boy. door, and uh, it was Dollar Tree. I don't know why I thought they had a bathroom. They they don't have a bathroom. Yes. Not the Dollar Tree. Yeah. And everything there is a dollar twenty five. I can't believe that. Yeah, it's all cap. Yeah, it's all cap. Yeah, yeah that shit ain't a dollar, my boy. But I go in there, ain't no bathroom. So then I'm like, shoot, bro. The only the next door that might have a bathroom is like a TJ Maxx, and it's across the parking lot, bro. Oh man. And then I'm like, oh, I'm literally running across the parking lot, like like hobbling, but like you running. Drive? He's running, and then you see him wearing like wearing like gray sweatpants, and all you see is just a massive brown stain, <laughs> <laughs> just like leading down his pants. I didn't have time to so hop in the car and drive across, bro. All of a sudden, just, it just slipped out the bottom of your pants. On the ground. <laughs> Have you ever been close where you're, it's hurting so bad and you you almost just think about just laying down and taking the L? I, that's what I thought <laughs> I was doing, bro. There's been times where I'm like, yo, like it literally, it literally is hurting so bad. It feels like a hernia. I don't even know what that feels like. I've almost done like that it. at work, bro, because there's not a bathroom at one of like the courses, and so you have to like drive like a two minute drive all the way up there, and like sometimes I'll hold it to like to the very end, Dude, and then it'll just like come out. That was literally me. And no, it was, I, I was about to say, fudge it. I'm just gonna have to throw this pair of underwear away. Say, so take the L. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. But then I, I made it in, and that one had a good bathroom, and it ended up working. And you feel so good after. Like, so like, good. Yes. So you, you good. Literally so feel relieved. Like you way less. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you for this, bro. Thank you. It's a big, you. big step in your life. I know, bro. But I appreciate it. Also, not to forget, um, not to get off topic with all this fart stuff, I think we should stop talking about it. I got one more. And All right. Okay, fine. Talk about it. Let's Just hear because, it. bro. 30 seconds. Go. All right. So every time I'm at Ricky's apartment, there's always some nasty crap in his <gasps> parking garage, bro. bro. Yeah. Literally, one of the first times I was there, dog pooped right in front of my car. I, I don't know if it was a dog. It was a big dog. It, it was, was a massive, bro. It, it looked was, human. It was a big load right in front of the car. Ew. That, that was like one of the first times I was there. And I was like, all right, someone just didn't pick up their dog. It pooped. That's a little nasty. Then yeah. another time I go there, there's throw up. And it's like wet throw up, bro. Ooh, for real, right, right in front, Fudge, right, bro. right in front of the car gag. again. And I'm like, bro, every single time. And, and then, then the other day, bro, the other day, I'm dropping Ricky off after we filmed some some stuff. And then he goes, he opens the door into the apartment building. And as you open the door, bro, literally the foyer, the foyer, right on the <laughs> foyer, in you open, dude, <laughs> like a massive amount, bro. We can play the video. But look at this, they're taking it up a notch. We go through the door. And boom, what do you see? What do you see? What is that? Bro, every time. I'm telling you, bro. It's always something new. Always in this Insane. Massive load. Bro, and I cannot wait to the day till I see the person that lets their dog poop and doesn't pick it up because I'm going to follow them back secretly to their apartment and take the poop and smear it all over their door, put a sticky note on the door and say, you forgot this. And I won't even feel bad, bro. And then you light it on fire. <laughs> It's but one, then the whole apartment would burn down, and then I would oh, take out right, too. Right, right. It's I one, have to get them back only. It's one thing to not pick up your dog's poop, like when you're like walking around in public, or say it poops in someone else's yard. It's easy. It's easy to say, eh, yeah, they're not on the gonna, grass. They're, you know, they're not gonna, like, gonna yeah. know it's me, or you know, I'll just let them pick it up. Whatever. Who cares? The rain will take it away. But this person, they have the audacity inside to let it poop inside the foyer, knowing, knowing that. When, once they're done walking their dog, so here's the door. They're walking past the door. Boom. Buddy poops right here. Then they keep walking. They're, they didn't pick it up knowing that they're going to have to come back. They have to come back and walk right past that poop in like an hour after they're done walking, buddy. You know what would really be funny is if like say that person like their dog pooped right there. They go back. They, they're going to shower. They, and then they're going out like later that night. And he's like on the phone. He's like not paying attention. He just... Steps right in the oh, fucking shit. I'd love right to see shit, that. Dude. I'd love that. That would be karma that. at its finest. Dude, that would be the greatest thing of my life <clears> if <throat> I ever seen that. Just it was there for multiple hours, bro. I like went on a run, then I came back, then I went out later that night, like five hours later, and it was still there, bro. Like, how, what bad. kind of human, bro? That's almost like, I don't know. That guy's a menace to society. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Back you should to be on camera. camera. But um, is he not caught on camera? There is a camera in there, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. There should be. It has to be. It's your entryway. But um, back if to not, what I'm putting the camera in there. For, like, all the people out there listening, I just wanted to hear more about, like, the whole Social Gloves event with what happened with you three. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I wasn't there, deep. so and I've never really heard, like, the full story. <laughs> oh, so we know you weren't there. <laughs> oh, if I was there, it would have ended that bad. Action. He ain't about that action, boost. If you ain't there, you ain't about that action. Dude, we got me, Evan, and No, Nick. I hear a lot of talk, but I don't see any action. Ooh. So, yes, I want to hear me, this action, Me, boy. Nick, and Evan, I got to preface this. Right. Me, Nick, and Evan have a group chat without you and Rohan. 
that we made after the trip, and it's called About That Action. When's the last time you texted yeah. in? I pull it up right now. Yesterday, bro. Yesterday. Yesterday. Because <laughs> oh. we about that action. Yeah, exactly. Whenever, we stay about that action, Whenever boys. something happens, or whenever something happens, I'm like, yo, boy, something, like, if I feel like something's about to put, come up on me, like when the, when the, um, when I, my car broke down and I was pulled up in front of 20 guys on the street, I didn't text nobody else. I, I texted a little, I airdropped a location into the About That Action group just in case they need to pull up because all I need is these two, bro. He bought that action, bro. They bought that action. Yeah, all you need is those yo, two. Yo, 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 they about that action, right? All you need is these yeah, two until I pull action. up, If you weren't boy. there, I can't trust that you're about that action if you weren't mm-hmm. there. It's easy to say you're about that action when you're 3,000 miles away back exactly. home in Florida when we're in the back alley getting jumped. Yeah. But let's dive into that story. Let's dive. Let- yeah, dive into that joint, bro. All right, so, all right, I'll take the lead on this one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you're, <coughs> you're the host. You're the... Let it rip. And I'll add, we'll add little details, little spurts. And Evan has a really good. I'll add the spurt. sound. I'll add the sound effects if there's any. We'll probably don't add too much over there unless you have a question. Maybe at the end, you know. Yes, sir. Yeah. Because you actually don't know anything about this one, right? Yeah, yes, but if sir. you have, if you have a question or you need clarification, oh, wait. Definitely hop in and. Uh, but not too much. Not too much though. Not every couple sentences. Yeah, can All we, right. Can we turn his mic off? I got you, Goose. Yeah. Um. Audio guy, shut off mic number four. <laughs> Beep, boop, boop. Yeah, but just All mute right. it. We're t- all right, we're good. Okay, there you okay go. so taking this back, uh, was this last year? I think it was, it was last about year. a year ago. Yeah, 2021 for sure. Okay, about a year yeah. ago, there was the whole Social Gloves event, and there was word that it, it was Austin McBroom fighting Bryce Hall and then Taylor Holder, and all those fights, most of those fights were announced, but then they also said, we are looking to fill two more fight slots, and then me and Ricky were like, yo, so we spam Social Gloves on Instagram, like, yo... We told you guys to spam social gloves and be like, yo, let us in the fight, let us in the fight. And then they saw they saw all those comments and all that all that attention that we were sending to social gloves Instagram, sending that way. And then they decided to host an event out in LA and it was a bunch of YouTubers get together and fight each other. And then whoever fought the best and pretty much won, it was like a little tournament. So like I'd fight Ricky, winner moves on. And then I fight you, winner moves on until there's only one person left. And then... They invited us to that event, and me and Ricky were hype. We're like, yo, we might have a chance to get on this car. This is about to be crazy, bro. So then we, we trained for like a week. Literally a week. <laughs> Literally a week. <laughs> I, it was key, though. You know, I learned some of the basics or whatever. Definitely. But then when you get in the ring, you kind of all goes out the window, and then you just kind of do whatever you do. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but then we get invited there, and then it's in L.A., so we're like, all right, me and Ricky, we're going to go, but then we're going to be boxing. So, like, who else can come? I don't know if we asked Mason. No, you, I think we did. You, you didn't ask me, but then... <sighs> Like, the, literally the day before, we went to the gym. I remember that. We went to, like, that private gym. Oh, yeah. And then I remember, like, all you guys, like, oh. asking, like, oh, like, what are your thoughts? And I was like, I was like, what? Dang, like, I wish I was invited. Would have been dope, though. But, it's but only people about that action. <laughs> hey, you yeah. never know until I would have been there, bro. Nah, we know. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> We're just kidding. Dang. All right, so when... We're just kidding, bro. So we ended up eating... I know you're about that action. Bro. I'm going to be a boxer. Just wait on it. Just wait. I trust. Hey, we're waiting. I trust. So Seeing is believing. What ended up happening is we invited Evan. Evan was down to come, and he pretty much, like, filmed for us. It was like a little filmer for uh, when we, on that trip. Yeah. So then we get there, and then <clears throat> we pull up to the event. There's a bunch of YouTubers there. It's me, Ricky, Alex Big Wasabi's names. there, Stromedy, who was, like, roasting me on the internet, and then we oh, pulled yeah. up. It was, it, we had to tell the story. Oh, yeah. So there's this guy, Stromedy, who was also there at the boxing event, and then me and him, a couple of days before the event, we were like chirping each other, going back and forth on Instagram stories, and he's like clowning me, roasting me, and then he, he was calling me like short, and I was like, I, I played the Drake song. It says, "Taller in person, you see when we meet." Oh, and then and then he ended up being at the boxing event held by Social Gloves with all the YouTubers, and we pull up on him, and then we're filming it, and then me and Ricky, we kind of got. In I live, I live for those moments. We got in his face a little bit, and then oh, I'm like standing right. like this close from his face, and I'm like. Yeah. Ricky's like, oh, he's short, huh? He's a little hobbit, huh? Because that's what he was calling. Yeah, me bro. I was, uh, Nick kind of, Nick kind of <sighs> just does his thing. He's like, he's like the host, and then I'll talk all the crap for it's like him. Like silent but deadly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah, the best yeah, way yeah. to describe just it. Just like, like Ricky's farts, and he's... I'll just hype it up for him. And like Nick was just sitting there, like, mm-hmm. And then I was just like, oh, bud. So then, so then uh, that event, everyone's there, and then what ends up happening is, I don't know who I fought in the first round, but then I beat them. And then I faced Alex Wasabi, cracked his rib. Shout out Alex Wasabi. Nice guy. He's a good guy. But I'm sorry for cracking your rib. For real, like the nicest guy. Like, I kind of feel bad I cracked his rib. It's like a cool story, but like I feel bad for the guy. Yeah. But then I ended up beating him. And then I think after that, it was the, it was like the final round. So after I beat Alex, I moved on yeah, to the yeah. championship round against the guy that 
beat Ricky in the first in round. In the first. It was Ryan Johnston. Keep this in mind. Ryan Johnston, he doesn't have the last name McBroom, but he's related. I think Austin McBroom's brother in law. Yeah, 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 yeah. Austin McBroom's brother in law. So Austin McBroom, he runs social gloves. We didn't know this at the time, but uh, uh everyone knows that now. But uh so I face off against Austin McBroom's brother in law in the championship round. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's supposed to be a little two round fight. A little two round fight. None of us are really boxers. No one there is a boxer. And no one really had any time to train for this thing. Except for him. He, he, yeah. He had been training for a couple of years, yeah, yeah. apparently. Hey, you're actually forgetting something. You forgot this is Conor McGregor's son and he was there. Yeah, but so, I wasn't fighting though. He wasn't yeah, fighting. Yeah, but he comes in the story in a little bit. He's an animal. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but yeah. back to back to the story. Well, back that's to- why they didn't have him in. He would have demolished everyone. It wouldn't have been fair. Yeah. So back to the story. I'm facing Austin McBroom's brother-in-law. It's supposed to be a little two-round fight in the finals uh, championship. Whoever wins this is getting on the social gloves card. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's like, oh, I got to give it all. These two rounds, I got to give everything I got. I'm going to leave it all out there. And I literally left it all out there because I threw up after the fight. But pretty much what happens is the first round. First round, NCK dominated, bro. Yeah. I, NCK, I would easily give you... Clear round one, everyone there was like, yo, you dominate. You landed the bigger punches. He really yeah. didn't reach you in the first round, right, Ev? No, dude, lighter weight gloves, and you probably would have put him on the <clears> line, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, literally, like, I was like, like, like you're, there were some like, big he was, hits. He's running backwards and, like, stumbling, and you're, like, hitting him. You were like, definitely. Like, he fell against the ropes that one time. Yeah, 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 yeah. You were definitely piecing him up like a KFC dude, chicken tender like meal. like a heavy hitter. That's um, the best way, like, like after, like, re-watching that fight a couple times, I literally just rewatched it the other day when, we, when you guys sent it in the group chat. But Nick is, like... He's so scary because he's freaking powerful, bro. The left hand was just like, <laughs> was just right, like the left hand was just landing. Definitely a big guy. So then what ended up happening is we all think that everyone there thought it too. First round, that easy I, win. That I took the first round, and then second round. Bro, second Bradley round, Martin and everybody's like in your corner like, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. this kid's legit. Yeah, everyone George was like, yo, Janko too, right? as, long yeah. As, yeah. as long as you don't lose second round, it's clear win for you because you yeah. dominated first yeah. round. Because yeah. think about this: if you win the first round and then you tie the second round, the second round goes to nobody. It goes so to then decision. that just leaves me one round to zero yeah, rounds. Yeah, yeah, that's that's basic math for anyone yeah. watching. Austin McBroom's brother-in-law, if you're watching this, take some notes on this. That's the funniest part too, because after <clears throat> he posted a story, but we'll get yeah, into uh, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, you're yeah, skipping yeah. too far ahead. <laughs> so after so after the second round, they're like, oh, yo. Because keep this in mind, everyone, they only, they're basing, like, their thoughts off, like, the last, like, 10 seconds of the fight, 30 yeah. seconds of the fight. Yeah. Where, like, either he knocked me down or I slipped or something. It wasn't a hard punch, but he hit me and, like, fell. But I was, like, fine. So, I don't know what it was. It was the pretty pro- even second round, bro. Yeah, it was pretty even. He definitely didn't win or dominate the second round. You no. literally that one slip, but then everyone went crazy because it was the last thing to happen. Yeah, people yeah. are only going to remember, like, the craziest thing. So, everyone saw that and... And mainly Austin McBroom and I think DDG yeah. was there and they're yeah, like the judges. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tell them who the judges were. Austin oh. McBroom and DDG. And wasn't it like Oh, um Was it Who were we supposed to stay with? T Fox. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, Fox. and they're all under Austin McBroom's little puppets. Yeah. yeah yep. Yeah. They're all they're all kind of have to do what Austin McBroom says because it's his event. And if they piss him off, maybe they lose their spot on the card and lose yeah. their seven hundred thousand that they're guaranteed, which they didn't even end up getting. But so everyone's like well, mainly Austin McBroom's like, yo, we need we need to do one more round. Okay? No, but right after the second round, Evan and I hop in and we're like celebrating. I'm going crazy. Yeah. I'm like, yo, NCK oh, yeah. just won, bro. It's over. Yeah. Like, but we were like, the, like it was it was basically me and you hopping in there because everyone else was kind of like, there were people celebrating, but it was just like, yeah, it wasn't what we you were expect. like it there for you. you expect, they weren't like they over. weren't celebrating because it's like. They have no emotional tie. Or like, they don't even know who I am. You know? But we hop like in a there. Guy. I'm so, vlogging, like, going crazy. I'm like, yo, yeah. NCK won. I remember it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Austin's like, whoa, 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 bro. One more round. And I was like, I was so like, what do you mean one more round, bro? Yeah, that's not how that works. It was one for the first and tied the second, maybe. Yeah. And keep in mind, I, I go in there thinking it's only going to be two rounds. So I give it literally my absolute all. And I'm like, I'm gassed, bro. I'm gassed because I'm not expecting a third round. So I'm not yeah. saving. I'm not going to save some energy for the third round yeah, yeah. because there is no third round Dude, in my mind. I've nev- you were so dead. I've never seen you I was exhausted, was bro. Like, but then they're bro, like, you're like... You were like turning like purple. You were I know. So I was like, dude, pour, pour the water on me just like yeah, to cool yeah. me off. And they're like, no, we got to do a third round, guys. This is my Austin McBroom voice. We got to do like a third round. Yeah. And then, Pretty accurate. 
And then we ended up doing a third round. They just and wanted then, like the entertainment. I feel like at that point. Yeah, literally. Because it was, it was probably it was the craziest fight of the night for sure. Yeah. Oh Dude, yeah. That, those fights in there, bro. Easy. Those fights were better than the fights on the actual card. Oh yeah, yeah easy. Okay. Easily. Are going so easily, hard. Easily, it's like bro. underground fighting where people are, like are just like going in. <laughs> yeah, because there's Straight no like, savages. Bro. There's no like actual ref, so yeah. there's like some dirty hits and stuff in there, you know. Oh, and yeah, speaking yeah. of the ref, the ref was oh. Austin McBroom's like trainer or something. Yeah, it was just it was ridiculous. So then what pretty much ended up happening was um, uh, they did another round. I don't even remember who won that one. Who, who won that one? I don't even remember. Maybe the third it, round? Yeah. I, it, think he did, prob- he, I think he won. Probably him because I was, I was gassed. gassed. But even then, then it's a tie. And then you yeah. look out who had the more like dominating round yeah. that was won. Round and one it wasn't, was, it was dominating for you. He definitely didn't the dominate best. the third round. He won, but I don't know. I don't think, I don't know yeah. if it was like, wow. Wow! No, both you know? y'all, both of y'all were gassed, and he just had a little more energy because yeah. he'd been boxing for yeah, longer. He'd been doing a little cardio. I had a little seven day notice that yeah. this event was happening. Well, that guy probably, you know, he is Austin McBroom's brother in law. He knew it was coming. He knew it was coming, so he has all the time in the probably world. Probably went train. and trained in that <coughs> ring and everything. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's where, that's the gym where Austin McBroom trains, and yeah. he probably went along with him. He's his oh. brother in law. You know? Yeah. So then, what ends up happening is, um, literally, I'm gassed after the fight. I'm not even like. My mind is not even there. Like, I'm just, like, exhausted, just trying to, like, lay down and get a rest. Yeah. So I literally lay down in the middle of the ring, and then Austin McBroom comes up, and he's like, yo, good job, bro. You did good. And I was like, thank you, thank you. And then I'm just, like, gassed, laying on the floor. We're, like, the last ones to leave. I We end up leaving, literally and then lost. I literally throw up right in front of the boxing gym because I was, like, yeah. exhausted, and I didn't have much to eat before. Yeah. So then... What ends up happening? Uh, what ended up happening after that? So later that night, we go back like to where we were staying, and we all kind of just chill and are like hanging out because Nick's like exhausted. And then the next morning, we wake up and we watch back through the footage, and I was like, "Bro, there's no way, bro. This is disrespect. Yeah, this is yeah. disrespect. It wasn't even if it was close, and they gave it to him, sure. But we were watching back the footage, and then I showed Evan and Nick, and they were both like, "Bro, it wasn't even like." Close, bro. The first oh, round we you should have won. Like counted like punches and lands. And every, like we everything and counted it. And it was yeah. like it, it was, was so uneven. Yeah, it was it was uneven, and it just seemed it seemed unfair. So then we posted the video on YouTube. It was it was. Oh yeah, we filmed it. We filmed there. it the, the, that morning. It posted it like that day. We yeah, like, filmed yeah. and edited literally the day after yeah. the the, the YouTuber reaction, fight yeah. thingy, and then we posted it, and then. Um, what ended up happening after that? We posted it, and it started getting traction. Everyone went to the Social Gloves uh, YouTube channel, and that video literally has like 30,000 comments, and I'm not even kidding. 29,000 of them are yeah. NCK deserved to win. Literally. Yo, NCK should have won. Yeah. And there's not one that said Ryan Johnson should have won. I didn't see one. It was all NCK, even, NCK. Even people that didn't like know who we yeah. were. People were like, that yeah. Nick Ireland guy should have won. That Nick Ireland guy should have been on the card. Put him on the card. Yeah. It was like comments with like thousands of likes, hundreds of likes. Thousands. And then what ended up happening after that was, I believe, the Hollywood Fix. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah, yeah. The Hollywood Fix, it's like this, uh, he's like a paparazzi for like YouTuber type people. Yeah. And then me and Ricky, we ended up going on the Hollywood Fix. And then we pretty much say like, yo, guys, that Social Gloves video, if you take a look at it, it just seemed a little unfair, a little, little rigged. We'll let you guys decide. Was it because... Uh, Ryan Johnson is Austin McBroom's brother-in-law. Is that why he's on the card? Guys, let us know, because it just seems a little bit fishy to me. We were being pretty... I feel like every time we did it, it was very respectful. It was like, yo, let us know what you guys think, and yeah. the people decided like and, for themselves. Yeah, like you weren't yeah. hating on the guy. And we didn't, yeah. know, we didn't know Austin McBroom ran social gloves or was social gloves at the time either. But we were super suspect. Yeah, we, like, were, we were sus. We were Come pretty on. sus. So then what ends up happening is... Um, I'm not going to say his name. Don't say his name, guys. But you guys are going to know who I'm talking about. There was another YouTuber who we were supposed to stay with out in L.A. <laughs> yeah. he ended up, oh, I know. He ended up flagging on us, and uh, we didn't end up staying with him. That's how L.A.B., man. But that YouTuber was actually training with Austin McBroom. That day. That day. The day, I think it was the night after the fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The night after the fight. And then he, he calls me or texts me and says, Yo, bro, would you be interested in sparring Austin McBroom? Yeah. And, and at this point, I'm like... Unless there's a chance I'm going to get on the card, there's literally nothing in it for me. They said they said they didn't want it to be filmed. That's what Austin wanted. Probably because, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. either he doesn't want any footage of him training or he doesn't want any footage of him getting clapped. Yeah, you know, it would look bad. Yeah, yeah. It would look, look bad, for sure. It would look bad. Yo, like, you can't be the main event and then get clapped by, by someone who's been training for seven days. 18. Yeah. I think it was 18 yeah. at the time. Massive, <laughs> fuck, like, red flag, like, right off the bat. Or just, like, it's just, like, crazy because, obviously, Austin McBroom saw something in Nick. 
And that's why he wanted to spar Nick. A hundred percent. Like, he wanted, bro. He was like, yo, you're good. And I want to. Like, yeah. Obviously, yeah. he knows that Nick's a hoss. And he's like, dang, like, this kid should really be on a fight. But, uh, you know. So then, so then he, he, he's, I'm talking Austin through another YouTuber. So there's another YouTuber. And then Austin's on the other side yeah. talking yeah. to him. He's talking to me. It's like that. And I was like, honestly, this is pretty much what I said word for word. Honestly, if there's, if I'm not going to get on the card, there's not a chance for me to get on the card then it's not really worth my time. Like, every day in L.A., we're just spending more money than we have yeah. to staying in, like, a hotel or something. So I'm like, bro, I'm not going to waste the whole day to spar him for his benefit when there's nothing in it for me. Like, yeah. if we could have logged it for, like, a video or something. Oh, 100%. 100%. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. Sparring that would, Austin McBroom, banger. Spar- clapping Austin McBroom's cheeks yeah. in a sparring match. Yeah, yeah banger. You're knocking Austin up McBroom. Austin McBroom, parentheses, 12-piece chicken tender from KFC. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, if we could do that, I would have been, been chill. But then... Uh, Austin, Austin uh, texts the YouTuber guy who texts me and says, "Oh, Austin, Austin didn't really like that. Uh, yeah, didn't really like that you declined his offer to spar him, and he doesn't like that you didn't want to spar him." I'm like, bro, if I don't want to spar you, why don't be a little puss and feel bad that I'm not sparring you, bro? Yeah. Like, That's bro, what I, I hate, things, bro. I have things to do too, bro. You're I not the biggest, you're not, the world doesn't revolve around yeah, you. Yeah. You're literally a child. My, there needs to be something in it for you. Biggest, yeah. biggest pet peeve maybe in life is when someone asks a question expecting a result, bro. Like if you're going to yeah. ask a question, be prepared to take both results. Yeah. It's not a question at that point. If, you, if you're looking for an answer, it's a statement. Yeah, yeah or say like what you're going to say. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, nah, bro, I, I don't really, I'm not interested in sparring him. There's nothing in it for me. We're just going to go home. We took the L. We're just going to go back to Florida or something. And then and then um, Austin ended up seeing the Hollywood Fix yeah. video that got posted mm-hmm. yeah. like that day. And then Austin texted the YouTuber, texted me and says, really YouTuber was like, yo, Austin, Austin didn't really like what you said on that, uh, on that Hollywood Fix video, bro. Like, oh, no. And I was like, oh, bro, he's being a little puss. He took it the wrong way. Yeah. And uh, we didn't even really say anything bad. We just kind of stated facts on facts. what happened. It was literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, truth, the truth hurts. And I think you know he, saw the, he, saw, he saw the reaction video. Yeah, he probably like, saw the reaction video. But it's like, it's just a reaction. Like, we showed the fight. Yeah. Like, what is there to be There's mad no about? crazy accusation. He's mad there. because we exposed the truth, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we yeah. pointed out what everyone was already thinking. It's like, yeah. it's like... It's it's like the comment that I that I uh, commented on their thing. They deleted yeah. it, but since it was our video, he couldn't delete it. Pretty much is what yeah, happened. Yeah. And like, if you know that you're good or you know that something is truthful or right, you can leave the hate comments there because the people will show what's true. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? People back yeah. you up. It, was, it wasn't even. Yeah, it was just being. He was being soft, and I was like, and then he, he was like, yeah, he doesn't really want to talk to you anymore. He uh, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I heard his feelings. <laughs> I heard I heard his feelings pretty much yeah. or something like that. Yeah. So that or his ego, probably more his ego. Definitely ego. That ego 100%. is massive. That's 100%. Yeah. Bigger than his house that got foreclosed on. Ooh. I don't know what would even happen with that. But back to the story. Oh, I just spat hella. <laughs> back to the story. So then I text the YouTuber and I'm like, "Bro, tell him tell him we can uh, pull up to his boxing gym and we can just talk about what happened." Because it seems like a big misunderstanding. Me and Ricky and you, we thought that I won. So did everyone else in the room. Literally everyone else in the room. I got DMs from people that night. And they're like, yo, you should have been in there. Like people that were in that room. They're like, yo, you fought amazing. Yeah. Uh, honestly, think you should have won. I think like trainers too. There was Alex, like- Alex Wasabi's coach came up to me, I'm pretty sure. And he was like, bro, that was like, dude, what they're doing is like is messed up or fudged. It was yeah. like, bro. So then um, I'm like, text the YouTuber to tell Austin. I'm like, yo, we can we can talk and meet up in person and just like talk it out like men. You know, there's misunderstanding. I don't like want men. <clears throat> I don't want beef. <sighs> we can just talk about it. So then we end up finding out that Austin McBroom is training at that gym where the YouTubers got together and fought the next day. Yeah. So me, Ricky, and Evan, we're like, yo, we got to pull up. We, we got to pull up. Ride. We weren't invited. We weren't invited, but I didn't think it was like, we were just pulling up to try and talk to him to squash beef. Yeah. And then we were vlog- we were vlogging the whole thing. So keep that in mind. We were vlogging the entire trip. So when Austin McBroom gets sad and uh, upset that there's a camera, was it not even in his face? Just, well, there's a camera filming. He might have been upset because he didn't get to stage it like he does in most of his vids probably. Oh. So like yeah, the real yeah. version of him came out and he doesn't... Oh, the real version definitely came out. The real version came out and man. And then he's like, damn, they got caught on camera. All right, so this is what happened. Me, Ricky... And Evan, we we pull up to the gym. We get dro- dropped off by uh, a friend. We're not going to name him, yeah. but we get dropped off yeah. by a friend. <laughs> and he, the friend the friend dips, and he's like five didn't minutes. Didn't really want to be a part. Yeah, of he didn't want to be a part of it. But he was kind enough to do the drop well, off. We were, like, yeah. we, were, we were all there, like 
this is like a back alley behind the gym. Yeah, we're not even in the front. We're yeah, like the back entrance the gym, so the no gym. one can see anything. Yeah. We're there. <clears throat> and then, yeah, we're all standing there. I think, never mind. I'm not going to say any names. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> oh, yeah. yep. but anyway, yeah, we were sitting there and then. I don't want to take it over, but the, the orange Lambo pulls in. Yep, the yes. Or- Mc, McBroom's or, uh, orange Lambo pulls up to the gym. We all see it. We hop out of the friend's car. Friend goes a separate way. Yeah. Uh, and then we we just, like, walk up to the Lambo. Evan's filming it because we, we were just filming. Low-key, though. Low-key, Evan's yeah, filming. Yeah, like, very like, low-key. Yeah, so it was, like, kind of just chilling. Yeah. And then uh, I'm, like, he, I tell him, like, roll the window down so, we like, we can talk. And he's, like, all right, one second. I'll get out in a second. And it was, it was chill up, up until this point. And then he gets out of the Lambo, and then I'm like, yo, bro, can we just talk about talk about what happened last night? Or the night before? And he's like, Bro, I don't really I don't really want to talk, bro. You're just a little butthurt little little boy. You're just you're just sad that you lost, bro. Yeah, it and was, he's like yeah. talking like that. Yeah. Like there's not even like he's talking down on you. Yeah, I talking down on me. There's not even like normal talk. No respect. Like yeah, no, no respect. No, yeah, no yeah, respect. Yeah, yeah. Even though I pretty much clapped his brother in law's cheeks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He was like ten years older than Dude, me. Dude, I would have said let's spar right now. No, bro. Get, get, wait, just wait, wait, just wait, because it gets there, and then, and I also have all uh, our boxing stuff in a brief, uh, not a briefcase, <laughs> a suitcase, suitcase. <laughs> a suitcase with us, because we didn't have a hotel. <laughs> Literally, all of our belongings are on us at that moment. Yeah, <laughs> they're just with us, and then we're like, uh, I pull up, and then we're talking to him, and then he's he gets like this close from my face, just like in my face, and Evan's filming this whole entire thing. Yeah, him and like they're right in front of me. And I have they it kissed. down low. Ricky's right here. Yeah, but it wasn't me who got in his face. It was him who yeah, got in my face yeah. to, like, talk down on me, yeah. even though we're, like, the same height. So it was just, like, it was, like, I die. Yeah. But then he's, like, talking to my face, uh, just pretty much, like, trying to roast me and saying, bro, you're just soft. You guys are little pusses. He wasn't letting Nick get in a word. It was, like, him going yeah. off, just wanting to hear himself talk. He yeah. would ask a question and then start talking. And so I remember yeah, one time he was just doing that, and I was, like, yo, this is so disrespectful. And yeah, I think yeah. I said, I think said I butted that. in, and I was, yeah. like, Yo, bro, this is so disrespectful. I think I said something. Yeah, you said yeah. you're, like, you're not letting him talk. You're not yeah. letting him talk. You're not letting us talk. Let's talk this out like men. And he yeah. turns over to me, and he's he like cusses me out, and he's like, yeah, he you just, sit over there, you beep, 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 beep. He just like yeah, yeah. goes off on you. And, and then he turns back to you and starts spinning and, your face and again. And starts like talking to my face. And and then um, I'm not really too sure what happened after that. But I know what happened. Oh, I know what happened. I think, what's it called? <laughs> uh, someone from Someone training on the inside of the gym yeah. who is... I don't know if he was like training partners with Austin or friends with him, but he's like peeping out the door, like the back door of the yeah. gym, and he's like looking like this, and he's like trying to see what's what's going down. He's making a face. He's like, hearing some yelling. Yeah, he's making mm-hmm. a face like this, and the yelling was from Austin. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah. not yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. But he's like he's like looking like this, and then he sees Evan with the camera, and then once once he saw Evan with the camera, and I think Austin That's saw you, saw real. you with the camera. Austin was like, you got you got even more cheese, and then that guy came out, and then what happened after that, dude? Well, <laughs> I think before he even he saw the camera. I just remember, I remember just seeing like bodies come out of the gym and yeah. I was like, multiple, I was like, oh, this ain't, this ain't us in Austin anymore. Their yeah. hands were wrapped like, too. I was like, yeah, yeah. Like taped up hands. One guy had like a freaking baton thing. Yeah, I was like, like, two okay, batons. like this is no longer just us and him. Yeah. And then Austin's like getting all cheese and like yelling in my face still, I'm pretty sure. And then, yeah. and then the all, one, and then the, all those guys, they're obviously going to take Austin's side because oh, yeah. they're either his boys or training partners or, yeah. I mean, they're probably like yes men to Austin almost kind of in a sense. You but know? it was and the one, I think it was like the the co- the referee from the other day. Yeah, yeah. He looked and he saw the camera and he goes, Yo, y'all filming that. yeah, he literally said, are you filming? And then it's like obvious that Evan was, but it was low key. Mm-hmm. So then Evan starts like backing up because I'm because we said before I was too if, close for comfort. I was like they can yeah. come at me. They're I'm gonna try and get the camera steps. if anything, you know. Yeah, yeah. But we thought about it before. We were like, yo, if anything happens at any point, like try to run away so we yeah. don't have to like lose the footage because yeah. we wanted the footage. Yeah, we wanted the footage. Just we're not even first. We just wanted the footage like for a normal vlog. But then it started getting getting intense, and then Austin intense. showed his true colors, and we're like, "All right, yeah. definitely need this footage to expose his cheeks. He's yeah, just like yeah. a douchebag and not a good guy. Yeah, like he's just so being rude." Were you guys like talking back to him and like <laughs> like talking shit with him, or no? Um, not really. You not, couldn't I was, say anything. I was, yeah, or were you just like kind of like kind of like damn, like they got like fifteen dudes. No, all it was more up, like let and Austin you like let down. It was more like let Austin get all of all of his steam, and then maybe we'll be able to talk. That was I think. Yeah, what yeah we were like once about. he's out of breath, maybe I can fit a word or two in there in between breaths from uh, yeah. Mr. Hothead. You can, we could literally see the steam boiling yeah. off his head. Like, shh, his face started to get red. I yeah. think it may have even got purple. Because I mean, like, yeah, you can get, you can like get, like, I guess, like scared of him and like back down but it's like at the same time bro that guy's like one of the like top youtubers or like vlog 
family vloggers yeah. and has freaking like, I mean, not now, but he has loads of money. So it's like if that motherfucker touch me. Touch but you got to think yeah, about no. it's not him, bro. It's about the 15 other guys that yeah. don't have anything to lose and would do anything yeah. to protect him. Yeah. It was like seven. It was like seven. Right. Yeah, it was like seven, right. honestly. Sorry. It was seven. Now you're, now you're changing my but mind. But yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't scared of Austin. That's why I like, went literally yeah. in the videos. It was that, more that oh, big dude with the batons, honestly, bro. Dude, the videos yeah. that got like exposed from, uh, I think Ricky went live. And you, there's like, or like Austin. Well, we have to get into that. Take your time with oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's a storyline. Okay, okay. So Evan, so bring it back. Evan starts backing up like this with the camera. And Nick and I are like, yo, yeah, go, go, go. And then. We're starting to back up, and we're in an alleyway, and then there's, like, a little building right here, and then there's, like, a street, and then there's a main highway. Yeah, and yeah. we're backing through here, and we're slowly backing up, and the referee is telling us, yo, y'all better get off our property, because if not, you, we're going to, like, beat your cheeks right here, yeah, right now. Yeah, they're like, yo, private property, classic, classic saying, and we're like, all right, yeah. we'll, we'll respect that. It's private property, sure. We'll get off the property, and we start backing down the alleyway. And keep in mind, this alleyway, there's like an exit. It's not, it's not like a dead end. So we're backing up the alleyway to like, like a more of a main street. And then we're backing up and then we're like off their property. And like, they're still thing, coming. Yeah, thing, they're yelling like, like yeah. oh, give me the cam, give me the cam. Like, come back, come back. I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm, you told me to get off your property, bro. I'm getting off your property. I know. I was like, bro, you, you told me to back up. Now you're yeah. mad that I'm backing up? Oh, we're leaving. Yeah, they what were you, contradictions. What do you want? Yeah. Can't make you happy. I was like, yeah, we're leaving, bro. Chill. We're leaving. It, was, we're it leaving. was like, yeah, back up, leave. And we're like, all right, we're leaving. And then it was like, no, get back here so we can beat your cheeks and curb stomp you right here. Yeah. So then as we're backing up, Nick has the suitcase. So he's walking the slowest. He's like in their group. Yeah. Evan and I are this way. And then uh, Austin starts going off, like screaming, like he pulls out his phone first. Yeah. And he's like, yo, I'm by myself. Y'all are some beep, beep, beep. Like y'all, yeah. y'all are soft. Y'all, y'all deserve, y'all don't deserve all the fame he's you have or anything. like in my face. He's literally this close from my face with his camera. And I'm like, I'm not even like making a face at all. I'm just like, bro, what are you, you're okay, acting like a, like a little yeah. kid, like yeah. filming with uh, me on your phone from this far away. Like, bro, you're I, he's like acting like a Karen. It's pretty much what he's doing. Yeah. Oh, like really? literally Wait, a Karen. how old is he? Like 28. Like 28. Oh, bro. And I'm like 18 at the time. And 19. And 15. your boy in the moment was a, had the self-awareness to pull out my phone yeah. and go live on Instagram because I was like, I went live, click live. As soon as I go live, I said, somebody screen record this. That's the only thing I said. <laughs> and I was just holding my phone right there because I was like, yo, I know that someone's going to screen record this. This is going to go insane. And when he does that, he doesn't know I'm filming. And he starts saying, I'm by myself. It's like yeah. the famous clip where he's holding his phone. And it's yep. like, I'm by myself, all by myself out here. Y'all are scared. I, it's all three of y'all, just me by myself. And y'all are still backing away. Yeah, and then he started, he's like, ain't nobody gonna hurt you. Come back. Ain't nobody gonna hurt you. Yeah. And oh, little does what? he know, in the clip that of my live, you can see seven of his goons standing his behind him. Feet. Literally feet. seven yeah. of them. Oh, and then and then it's Austin saying he's by himself. And then Ricky's, Ricky's clip and Ricky's angle just exposes the truth and yeah. shows what really happened. I'm out here by myself. I'm out here by my fucking self. Ain't no one around me. Y'all got nunchucks out here, bro. Hmm. Bro, we're not trying to fight. Literally, everyone from his gym is like, all right, Austin, like, you can come back now. Like, we, we were off their property. We were pretty much on the main street. Yeah. Like, we we're just walking away now at this point because we're like, bro, can't even talk to this guy. He doesn't even want to talk. It's hard to talk to someone who doesn't want to talk. Yeah. So then his people from his gym are like, yo, Austin, come back. It's chill now. It's chill. And Austin's like, no, no, I, I got to I gotta do this. I got to do this, bro. He was having an ego trip for sure. Oh yeah, he's like, God. do you know who I am? I'm fighting for millions of dollars. I'm yeah. fighting for millions of dollars that didn't even get paid out. Little <laughs> did he know he didn't even make a single penny, boo. Now, he probably made some, but I, I don't know exactly how that went down. But still, he's like, oh, he's just, just like... He's just flexing and trying to yeah. puff up his ego as big as he can. I'm fighting like, for what did he expect us to do? Like, do you do it to me? I'm fighting for millions of I'm dollars. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're the best. You're the best YouTuber ever. Yeah, I don't know what he expected. He's like, you think I'm going to fight you guys right now? And I'm like, bro, no one wanted to fight you. We literally yeah, came to that's talk. What they were saying. He's like, yo, I'm not going to fight you guys on the street because I'm fighting for millions of dollars. Okay, then walk away, bud. Yeah, yeah, I was like, bro, then what are you doing? That's We're not what, trying to fight. Me. That's what got me is they kept saying something like, like, all right, let's fight right now. Like, let's fight right now. Like, in the street, let's fight. Let's run it. Yeah. I'm like, bro, what? Ain't nobody here to fight, bro. Yeah. <laughs> For I was like, where are you, you getting that? We get you got to fight coming up, but like. We're not trying to have three on seven here, guy. Yeah. You know, we're trying that's to pick our fights That's just dumb. Yeah. Because we understand mathematics. He, he didn't. Yeah. He was yeah. thinking, oh, we have seven million followers. They have these many followers, so we're going to make millions of dollars. But he didn't. <laughs> if he would have understand like basic math right like there. us. 
If he would have understand, he would have understood. Yeah, he yeah. would. Yeah, but it clearly he didn't, and uh, that, that really showed. So he, he. It's easy to be confident when you have so many people behind you. you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If it was just him, even if it was just like him and me, I wouldn't be scared. But it's like, bro, you have seven people. No one's stupid enough to do three on seven with. They're like they're like fighters. It's not they just were, like I'm seven people. It's like seven like fighters, like tattooed yeah. everywhere. Like yeah, yeah. the bud had batons. He was Pretty probably like, what? How big was that guy? That was probably a big boy. six five two ninety. He's got boy. like the teardrop like right under his eye. He's like, well, I don't know if he had that. <laughs> I don't know if he had that. But Come then to beat pretty your much, cheeks, boy. we we keep on walking, and like we said, we're walking down like a back alley behind the gym, and then we ended up walking so far. Austin, camera or phone in hand, like this the entire time, and then we end up walking to like like the main street, and like we turn a corner, and then once we start turning the corner, <clears throat> Austin's boys from the gym they come out because they don't want Austin to be alone, or like who knows mm-hmm. what's gonna happen. You know, they were probably afraid that we were gonna clap Austin's cheeks. No, not like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah r- r- update them just in case because you've been saying clap cheeks a lot. Clap cheeks means it has it has a lot of various meanings. Like if you clap a girl's cheeks, that's not the same as the context that I'm using here. In, in this right. way, he's talking about just <laughs> like piecing wow. him up, like just beating him up, basically. Like when you, <laughs> yeah. when you like if you roast someone hard, or that that can be in terms of like clap someone's cheeks. Or like, if I like, your reaction, your reaction like like that. fighting. If you're fighting someone and like. <laughs> Like, say you fight like someone. Like, you're clapping them, you know? Yeah, you're like, you're, you're, you're clapping beating them. Beating their you're, ass. You're, you're, you're yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, beating some ass. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. yeah exactly, exactly. Clapping the cheeks. But then, literally, Same thing. you are beating some ass, too. <laughs> no, I'm just well, not his. Right, not right. his. No, yeah. no. <laughs> no. Oh. But then, um, so we get around the alley, and then all of his boys come out, <clears throat> and then Austin's like, Austin starts saying, yo, delete that footage. And then we realize yeah. that's why Austin's been following us this whole time. Like, because the situation could have diffused and been over. Like a long time ago, just at the gym, we left the property, boom, done. But Austin knows that we were filming, yeah, and Austin follows. knows how he was acting on that camera and on that footage, and he knows if that if that footage gets leaked, a lot of his fans are like kids, I and then know. if that that footage gets leaked, parents aren't going to let their kids watch mm-hmm. that guy, and then he's just going to look yeah. like he's going to look like a douche and a bad guy, which I mean he is. So then the truth it was just going to get exposed, and that was too much for him to handle because you know he yeah. can't handle the truth that. You can't how he was acting, truth. like, dude. If the footage was that bad, maybe you shouldn't act like that, bro. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my boy, you can't be acting like that. So he's like, no. I'd should... love to see Austin McBroom on a podcast, bro. With us, if we Fudge. had Austin McBroom on our podcast, ooh, Fudge. Right, that, might, him up? that might go down not very well. What about like his? Uh, what if his we pull Ryan up on Johnston him on the pod? What if we pull up on him? With mics in LA and try to find him oh, and set up an instant podcast. So it gets like Ooh. you have a mic and you're like rolling live on it is what it is episode number twenty four. <laughs> we have Austin McBroom. Yo yo, but we wear disguises like good disguises, and then we like interview him and we're like yo, those Ireland boys. Like, what do you have to say about that? And like we look nothing. We all like have ourselves. like mustaches from like Top Gun. No got, bro, no. We got like the aviators just on. The mustache. Just the like, That's a good enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking we need, like quality. I'm like, talking about like professional makeup artists. We pull up. I don't know. This is like. Elaborate, and then we pull up on him. We ask him like what he thought about the Ireland boys or whatever. He's probably gonna get. We'll ask him some like normal questions before, and then get we'll him pop. Up. Yeah, we'll warm him up, stroke his ego a little bit, be like, "Wow, you're such a good boxer, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna demolish Anderson Gibb." And then <laughs> boom, that's when we pop the question. The Ireland boys like, so and we ripped the masks off after. <laughs> yeah, we ripped the masks oh. off after, and we're like, "Oh, is that so?" And then and then boom, and we, we catch him when he's insane. alone too. So there's so he'll be our number this time and see how it really is. And then the, and I'll pull out my phone and I'm literally gonna go. I'm by I'm myself. By myself. <laughs> I'll be like, he's really by himself now this time, boys. Yo, so after hearing like this whole story, like after all that, those details, does this like change your mind? And like, does this like make like either of you like want to box again? Oh, but or, you like, haven't even got into the full. Really the, yeah, we haven't even really? told the full. Yeah. Oh, sorry. This, this is this the, is the, the lead up. The lead up. Oh, this is the this lead just up. The lead up. Yeah, we have an hour long lead up. Let's go. Oh I'm yeah, ready. bro. This is <laughs> a movie. Popcorn. It's a movie, bro. We dropped the full vid on this. This is this is one of the most crazy times. Well, well it was definitely hot crazy in time here, boy. I know. I just looked up the fan. I told you. Anyway, it is. So you can pop the fan on the medium. So this is what happened. Pop the, pop the jump, oh boy. This is what happened. So he's backing us down. His boys come out. We're like, we're like, we turn the corner, and now we're on like, not a main road, but it's like not a back alley anymore. Yeah. His boys come up. Austin's like, yo, delete that footage. And then his boys hear him say, delete that footage. So they're all like. Yeah, delete that footage. Like, all seven yeah. of them, like, yeah, yeah delete, delete that yeah, footage, delete boy. That delete that footage, boy. Yeah. And this whole time, 
Like, I'm walking the slowest, so I'm closest to Austin and them. He did. Ricky's, like, in the middle, and then Evan's, like, on the far side because Evan is the one with the camera, and he knows yeah. that you cam- the camera and the footage has got to stay the safe. camera is... That's the most valuable possession yeah. right now this time. Yeah. We're like, yo, just, you know... So he had to trust it with Connor's son. That's what they want. Yeah. And Connor's son. They didn't want that Coming smoke. out of the corner, 185. He's got the Connor McGregor tattoo. Uh, yep. Rips his shirt here. off and just starts clapping cheeks <laughs> with... The nunchucks. Clapping cheeks, and then I started beating as well. <laughs> All right, now back to the story. Back to then the he story. he does the Conor McGregor walk. So, you know? we, didn't know this at, we didn't know this at the time, but one of the people that came out of the gym was Austin McBroom's actual brother. Not his brother-in-law, but his actual brother, Landon, uh, who Landon. also got added to the social gloves suspiciously. Who also just got, uh, he also, right after this happened, it was crazy coincidence, he got accused for uh, domestic abuse with his wife. Yeah, that's crazy. Take out. That boy just racking up them charges. Oh, yeah. never hit a girl. So, so me and Ricky were backing up, and then they all want the footage deleted, and then allegedly, and then Landon, <laughs> Landon of all of all people, we didn't know it was Landon McBroom at the time, but Landon McBroom, he oh, sees he sees Evan with the camera, and then this is where this is where things start to get crazy right here. So Landon sees Evan with the camera, and Landon starts he starts creeping away from the group, and yeah. he's like he's like. Starts getting a little closer to Evan. Like circling like a shark he was. Yeah, literally. Uh. And a little too close for comfort. And Evan oh, yeah. is aware of this the entire time. Dude, yeah. So they're all, they're all on the sidewalk in like a semi-circle surrounding Ricky and Nick. Yeah. And then I, I see, I'm like in the street. Yeah, you're literally like walking backing, in the street. I'm like five yards away in the street. And I see Landon like start to come around. Yeah. I'm like, oh, bro, what are you doing? You ain't slick, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't slick, bro. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Landon McBroom just just took off. Just took off. Starts bolting at Evan, and Evan. As soon as Landon McBroom took off, Evan took off right at the I same time. Ready, Wait, bro. why was he bolting at Evan? Because trying to get the, the camera. camera. Oh, what the fudge? They, they want the footage. The footage. They want the footage, bro. They don't want. To, if we had that footage this day, bro. Oh, dude, bro, you would have seen me run so fast, like, dude. You weren't there. Like you, can't you can't talk. You can't talk. I would have ran four minute miles. Swear to God. I that's swear it? I run that's faster it? when I'm getting chased by something. Oh, everybody probably does, everyone. It's called adrenaline. Yeah, but it would be. But he didn't want to leave Nick too. You know, it was like because they were yeah. literally. We were me and Evan were far, Whoa. and they called me. No, not no. You skipped too much. You skipped. You oh, skipped okay, okay, way okay, too okay, much. Okay, okay. Slow it down. Sorry, sorry. Got to tell all Take the details. Care. Simmer down, my boy. My boy. Sorry, uh, Mason. <laughs> Mason's getting me off track. Mason's getting yeah. me off track. Sorry, sorry. So, I'll so Evan, up. Evan, Evan sees this. He bolts away. Evan's fast. He ran track back God. in the day. He's Conor McGregor's son. He's about that action. Evan bolts Landon. He doesn't lay a hand on. Yeah, him. bro. He actually got away, bro. Yeah, he don't you know. didn't even know. If you would have just kept listening to the story, you would have known exactly. he actually got away. You thought he got caught. Exactly. My boy, fast, exactly. bro. Exactly. So Evan, Evan gets away. This, I need this. Yeah. All right. Shh. Let's he turn his mic back off. Ready? Ready? Everyone snap. Ready? So Evan gets away, and then it's clear that everyone is going after the camera, and then we're kind of more in like a group, a group setting again. Yeah. Evan, everyone's like hella close to of, each other. Yeah, back. And then, uh, and then, uh, what happens after that? Is this when Evan and I run? And then, yeah, and then, and then I think they came after us again, and I took yeah. off. Like I ran a whole block. Yeah, he was I down was at gone. the end. Evan ran down to the end of the corner, and, and then, then Ricky, Ricky came. ran with him because Ricky and Evan. The only thing that they're carrying, Evan has a camera. I don't think Ricky has anything except for maybe his phone on live. Oh yeah, yeah. that you no one knows about. No one, yeah, yeah, yeah. no one, no one knew I was live. live. Yeah, but then me, I got a whole damn suitcase full of boxing gear. Literally, I'm like strolling it, like yeah. I'm walking through the yeah. airport. <laughs> I'm just like walking casually, yeah. bro. Like but, through this whole thing, and then Ricky and Evan, they're at the end of the corner. And then it's just me and like six, seven guys, Austin McBroom, his brother, and then a bunch of like big dudes, like fighter people that he was with, training with or whatever. And then I'm like, oh, bro. And then they all, they all literally just turn to me and then they're like, they're like, you better call your boys. You were going to beat your ass right here. We going to beat it up right here and we going to leave you. We going to like, I was like, I felt like I was going to die. Like they were going to beat me up to a pulp, curb stop me, leave them. They all take a charge for Austin. I'm like, I'm like, shoot, man. I don't really want to go to the hospital. Is it really worth dying for this footage? Because that's really what I felt like, bro. It did oh, feel it like that. Like, it did dude, feel I like mean, that. Yeah, you're not you're not on the main road. You're yeah. you've got these massive guys around you. There's you're no, all alone. It's no like, one, they're threatening you. It's like, yeah. dude, these guys are seriously going to send me to the hospital right now. Literally, they probably would have. They probably yeah. would have. Yeah. Literally, no one around. It was just me, and then those seven guys, and you two at the end of the at yeah. the end of the corner, yeah. at the end of the road. So then, so then I I call I call Ricky, and I'm like, yo. Y'all boys got to get back here, bro. I ain't trying. Yeah. You guys just have to get back here. Please. You have to. Like, I'm, I don't want to die today. Literally. Yeah. That's what I felt like was going to happen. 
And if yeah. you were in that situation, it's easy to say, like you, bro. You were like, oh, bro, I wouldn't have deleted that footage. I wouldn't have. Bro, if you were in this situation yeah. that we were in. It was a stuffy sketch. It was so sketchy. Bro, I would have been such a dick about it. Like, honestly, I would have just. I would have just booked. They probably would have clapped your cheeks. I had a suitcase. Good. Yeah, but you can't just leave. Good, and then I get more money. Him. Mm, I don't know, Fuck bro. Him. Bro, what? it's Austin. Wait, Austin's the one with the but money. But does money matter when you're dead, though? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'd rather have a cracked rib and... I have no clue what they were going to do to it. I wouldn't I mean, not be have dead, though. Rib. I would have put up a nice fight. Against seven professional boxers, you and you, you just care. trained last time for the first for the first time last week. Even Conor McGregor. That would have been crazy, bro. Maybe if you were Conor McGregor and, and it was against you against those seven, maybe. 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 But yeah. seven on one, there that's just not good, bro. Yeah, do the math. Like, yeah, do the math. Austin, we know you can't do it, so we'll do it for you. <laughs> not a good outcome for the boys. Yeah. So we were just like, yo. Seven on one, not key. Yeah, I was like, yo, Ricky, y'all got to come back for they, they're going to be my cheeks, bro. And then they're, they're like all on all around me, like watching me as I'm on the phone talking to Ricky. I'm like, so, bro, you got to come back. Evan, too, with camera. Just come back, bro. You call me. And the thing is, Evan and I are far away, but we can still see Nick. He's yeah. like down the block. And I'm like, yo, we got to try to get out of here. So I call our friend that oh, dropped yeah. us off. And I was like, yo, bro, you got to pick us ride. up. <laughs> our only ride. Yeah. I'm not, bro, we don't got time to book a Lyft or an Uber right now. Yeah. We're about to get jumped. And the Uber ain't going to ain't gonna want to pick me up off of like seven guys right there. Yeah, just what they said, you, you, you're on the phone with him. I was on the phone with our friend and I said, bro, you got to pick us up. We're about to get jumped, bro. We're like, we might die. You don't even, like, I was panicking. I was like, bro, pick us up right where you dropped us off. Pick us up right now, bro, please. And he's like, bro, I can't get involved. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't, I can't, bro. I, I was like, bro, please, bro. And he said, bro, I just, I don't want to get involved. And I was like, bro, we about to die, bro. Literally. And then he, and no then he was, saying. and then, and I was like, bro, it was a lost cause. So I hung up. I was what? like, there's no way. Didn't he say, didn't he say, yo, boys, try to get an Uber. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did he say that. that. I said, bruh. So, Uber. <laughs> Uber at going to 15 minutes. You might as well just call an ambulance at that point. <laughs> yeah. Bro, he could have saved that footage, bro. Wait, so, so then, through all this, why didn't you call the cops or anything? Like, here's the moment. It's bro, like, yeah. It's like, uh, cops. Even, someone's gonna, just going through your mind. I don't even know. Dude, it's facts. So, you're, you don't have time to think straight. I didn't even, like, it's like yeah. fight or flight. It was literally like, like survival. Like, holy crap. Like, how do we get out of here? Yeah. And I was thinking, we were thinking about the camera and making it out alive. That's what we were thinking about. Yeah. And then yeah. at the end of the day, you have to weigh the odds. Camera, footage, maybe make a, make some money. Make, you know, make yeah. Austin look bad, expose the truth. Make him look bad, make a couple of money. Or live. Yeah. I'm choosing live. I don't I don't care. Yeah. I'm like, it wasn't worth it for me. So, then, so we start walking back. Me and Evan walk back. We're kind of like, we're like, dang. Holy shit. We're going to have to delete this footage. Yep. We're so like, we walk back. They surround us all. And uh, we were still thinking, uh, man, is there a way to get out? Yeah, we were thinking, like, can we take the SD card out or something? Like, like yeah. pretend we deleted it. Anything. Anything at all. But we transfer to the phone, something. But then... Uh, we were trying to transfer to the phone. We were, Evan and I were walking super slow back to Nick, like, trying to brainstorm of yeah, ideas. Yeah, we were, so, like, really thinking so fast. Dude, now, now that I'm thinking of it, you know what would have been key? If you recorded the video on your phone like this. Like, here's the camera, and then the camera's, like, playing it back, and then you take your phone and record it. You'd have to try and get the audio. And, everything. and it was yeah, like it would a long clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dang, that would have been smart, though. But the, all that time happening, we can see them, and the guys are screaming, hurry up, like, come back here right now. We're clapping his cheeks. Yeah, literally. So yeah. it was like, so, like when moments of panic, you just, like, you don't know what to do. Yeah, so then they came back, and then we still didn't want to give them the footage. And then Landon McBroom literally goes up to Evan. Austin, Mc, Austin McBroom's brother grabs Evan by the collar, and he's like, yo, starts cussing him out, and he's like, yo, delete that footage right yeah. now. Or or what? Well, he's yelling at me, and then he's like, he's "Like, pull out your pull out your phone, pull out your fucking phone, like, like, let me see your phone, everything." I'm like, "What did he scroll. really say? What did he really say?" <laughs> he's like, oh, bro. "He said, pull out your yeah. fucking phone." Yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, 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 "Pull, yeah, pull yeah, out yeah. your fucking phone, stop being a fucking pussy, all this shit." And yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, Shh, fuck, try to get out of my pocket as fast as possible because there's two two guys on me, and then him in front of me holding me by my collar, literally holding Evan by his collar. Like it was like, what is okay, out of a the movie, dude bro. holding Evan by his car? Does, how tall is he? And what does he look like? Like he's, he's like Austin McBroom's he's brother, probably, Landon McBroom. I'll, He's probably a couple face. inches taller than me. But there's like also still height. seven guys oh, surrounding him, bro. Right. Yeah. But then, but then, but then he, Evan's like, taller than me. Evan's like, yo, get your hands off of me, bro. Like, what are you doing, bro? Yeah. Like, yeah right? I, was like, I was like, bro, don't fucking touch me. Like, get off of me. Yeah. And then I remember, I'll never forget, I'm standing there, and right as I said that, Austin McBroom looked at me and he goes, bro, quit being such a pussy. Like, I was what? Like, bro, God, I wish I was there, man. Fudge. Man's is like, <laughs> not saying that I would have done me. anything, but it would have just been like, dang, like, I want to see what I would have actually done in that moment. Dude, it was crazy. I just it like shook my head. I was like, bro. You got to come when we go to LA and we expose him with the masks and all that. 
I was like, yeah. How how are you gonna how are you gonna say that? To, how are you gonna say that to Evan when you're literally it's seven to three and you're yeah. you, he's being the puss and you were standing up for yourself like what? If, yeah. If, if, if you would have been like, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> but you t- yeah. you to literally not be a pussy. Sleep your brother. You want me to sleep, Landon? Is you literally you did uh, the hardest thing you could have done. You were like, bro, get your hands off me right now. Like you were so calm, bro. Yeah. yeah. Like, it was like There's Conor McGregor. You could do. It was like, literally so Conor McGregor. Grab his head. Boop. It sounded like Conor McGregor <laughs> in a press conference, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pops off, and yeah, yeah. all you hear is just a little. Doo. So then, what ended up happening is pretty much uh, someone else from the gym ended up coming out that me and Ricky talked to like a day before, and then he kind of he simmer. He didn't simmer the situation fully, but like he was the chillest of them all. Yeah, yeah, like he if he if he was if that other uh, this other guy didn't come from the gym, bro. Who knows what could happen? Because he was kind of like like in middle ground. Yeah, he, he was definitely on their it. side a little bit, but he kind of chilled it out, and he was like, "Yo." Just delete the footage. They'll leave you alone. You guys can go your way. We'll go our way. Just delete the footage. And then yeah. me and Ricky, we all look at each other. We give each other a look, and we're like, yeah. we're we should have like, all damn. given each other a look like this and go, and then just sprint it. <laughs> just leave the suitcase. Oh, just we definitely go. sprinted out of there. Even we, after they walked away, I think we like we ran, bro. We ran down the block. We, we probably could have left the suitcase, bro. Yeah, we could have. And we could have sprinted faster than them and got to the highway, probably, honestly. I don't know if we could have sprinted. All you, all you would have to do is get to a main road. They ain't gonna do nothing if you're on a main yeah, road. Yeah, yeah, that's true. We could main road was right there. We could have made, it, right we made it to a main road yeah. for them. Yeah, but I, I think I was thinking, yo, Nick, just drop the suitcase. But I couldn't say, Nick, drop the suitcase. Yeah, because then they're yeah. gonna know. Oh, he's taking off. Like, why are you dropping the suitcase? Are you boy gonna run? Yeah. But then uh, what ended up happening after that? We we dipped out of there and then just scooped and and then we didn't have a hotel booked, so we no. slept in an apartment. Like l- computer room, yeah, like yeah. one of the one of the common areas, like where the yeah. printers are and stuff. And yeah. we were just sketched like the whole time. We we're like, bro, who knows what's gonna happen? Yeah, I remember seeing the videos of this in like our Snapchat group chat. You guys were like all sleeping like under desks and shit. Did oh, we? Yeah. Sleep? yeah, we did sleep yeah. there. We were sleeping yeah. on the floor, Damn, <laughs> and dude. people would walk by. We were just sleeping there, and then what ended up happening? Ordering we, food and craft. We get on. The, we got on a flight and went back home, and that went was like home. the end of it, or what? Yeah. No, well, the, that yeah. wasn't even it. So I oh. posted. I posted oh, the TikTok, yeah. and it was going viral. I think it had like a million views in like thirty minutes. It was going insane. Bryce Hall saw it and reposted it, reacted to it, he and faced, it went. It went viral on Bryce Hall's TikTok too. And then Bryce Hall got Ricky's number. They FaceTimed, and it, the clip was just like going everywhere. It was going everywhere. Everyone's like, "Dang, this is who Austin McBroom really is." And then I remember Social Gloves DM'd me after the clip was going viral and they said, delete, delete the TikTok and we might have a spot for you and your brother. And yeah. and it was Nick. Nick Take did the best. Cabo, Nick was Nick did such a good job. It was I it wasn't really my decision. I was like, yo, Nick, should we take it down? Me, I'm like, yo, let's yeah, leave it up. I the bridges think, are burned. I think me and Ricky were just like, yo, talk that shit, bro. Who I was cares? like, bro, this is going viral. It's my account. It's going popping off. I don't even care. But then me being the like the good brother I am, I was like, you put in all that work. <laughs> yeah. You dominated the fight. Whatever you want. And Nick was like, dude, I want to get on the fight. And I was like, all right, I'll also, take it down. Because yeah. at this time, we're not we're not 100. percent We 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 know that Austin McBroom has his hands in social gloves at the time, but we don't know that Austin McBroom is social gloves yeah. at his time yeah. for sure, confirmed. I would have yeah. said, wire me a little baggy and I'll delete that. <laughs> low key, a little blackmail. Yeah, low key. I was. We well, we were thinking that. about it. I thought. Yeah, but but, they were, yeah. but then. I, but they were gonna give him a. They were gonna give him an insane baggy to fight. Apparently, yeah, right? Yeah. 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 And so at the like, moment in time, you're probably like, oh, the, fudge, like I'm gonna get on this fight. For real. In I'm the moment saying. in time, yeah. it's like, all right, if you delete that, maybe you get on the card and we'll pay you like what a hundred thousand dollars to fight. Delete the TikTok, bro. What's that TikTok gonna make? Like yeah. nothing. Yeah. You can always repost it. So yeah, you can always repost I it. That's what it, we were thinking. We took yeah. it down, and, and was, it was ultimately Nick's decision. Evan and I want to leave yeah. it up, if we're being honest. So I was like, yeah. yo, there's a chance that I might still get on the fight. So just take it down, leave it down for maybe a day or two, and then we'll see what happens. We'll see how it plays out. That was one of the few times that I think I was made the right decision because I'm always like going after like the cheese, the cheddar, <laughs> like trying to get people cheese. And Nick, you're just making a smart call, though. At the time, you didn't know. Yeah, at the time, I didn't know. It's, it's, no one knew. So we fly yeah. back home. We fly back home. And we wait a couple of days. A couple of days go by. Nick DM social gloves. Yeah. I DM him. We're like, yo, what's the update? The yeah. fight is in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I'm like, yo, what's the update? Am I, does it look like I'm going to get a spot on the card? Or what, what's going to happen? Because they, they already added Ryan Johnson. Then they added Kyle Siraj on the TikToker side. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, so is there room for another fight or what? And then... I don't, I don't think they ended up responding. No, they left us on scene, both of us. Yeah, they left us on scene, but then they ended up adding Landon McBroom to the card. He wasn't even on the card originally, but then after this whole drama, this incident goes down, they ended up adding Landon McBroom to the card, and I'm like, bro. They saw, and, they, they saw his skills from the streets. They said, damn, that boy knows how to choke. Let's put him on there. <laughs> yeah, literally. And, when, and literally when they added him, 
I was like, oh, forget this, bro. I repost a TikTok. It starts going viral again, bro. I'm talking it's getting <laughs> millions, millions. Bro, the reposts that people were, like these random accounts with like 10 followers would post. On and you would get millions. And on yeah. YouTube. YouTube, yeah. like people were posting the clip on YouTube and there was like 30 clips getting like hundreds of thousands of views. And literally, what do you know? As soon as I post it, it starts going viral. Same day, Social Glove says, oh, I thought we were on good terms. You guys were going to get in the fight. I was like, bro, we've been DMing you for the past Couple yeah. days, bro. Yeah, we, we've been DMing you. You guys have been leaving us on scene, not responding to us. So we're like, all right, if we're not going to get it on the card, we have no reason to not post this video. Cause, as, But then as soon as Ricky posts it, oh, they're like, they're all trying to be a nice guy again. Like, oh, no, we're going to get you on the card. Yeah. And you know and what if, I do? If you take it down, if you take it down again, there might there there's a there's a good chance that you're gonna be on the yeah. card or have something to do with the event. There's a good chance. Good chance. So what does Nick do? He's like, Rex, we gotta take it down. I was like, I fought harder this time. I was like, bro, we gotta keep it up, bro. They're capping hard. And I was like, bro, I, I really wanna get on the card. Please just just take it down, bro. Just take it down. Okay. So I we, took it down. And then well, what do you know? A couple days go by. Radio silence. Absolutely nothing from social gloves. Getting absolutely ghosted by them. It's literally maybe what? Like the the fight is next week, I think. Yeah. And I was like, bro, forget this. I repost it again. Goes viral again, <laughs> but not the same amount of viral. Like the first time it was like that TikTok probably would have got 30, 40 million views. Second time it was probably on pace for like 15, 20. Third time it got like, I don't know how many it has now. Like a couple, a couple mil. A, couple, a lot of people saw it. Yeah. And then we made the YouTube vid, everything. But I was like, at this point, the fight's next week, bro. If he's going to be in it, give the boy some time to train. Yeah, I was like, bro, yeah. what is this? And then we we're just like, all right, forget this. I'm not going to get on the car. Just That's forget. classic social gloves fashion, though, to hit you up like that morning. Well, like, I mean, as like, you can see, they're not the very card. professional. You know, they don't pay their fighters. Yeah, they don't. Yeah. I might put, repost it again just to pop off again. Definitely. You might have to. With his, the news of his upcoming event, you just got to expose him one more time. Oh, I will. I will. <laughs> but you know what's crazy? This story, literally, yeah. this story, this whole Austin McBroom social gloves story, it all ties together with how we got robbed in Miami. Uh, oh, it yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. It does. And I was I, gonna say that earlier because, actually, bro, literally the only reason why we ended up going to Miami, like that time, that was, time is because of the social gloves fight, wasn't it going on? And Dang. I was wearing this exact shirt when we got robbed. But now we got to tell the story of how we got robbed. All right, right, but before you tell that story, I have just one little question for the people that don't know. Like after like this whole like social gloves thing like went on, like Nick went on to fight like a couple months later and like ended up fighting what DK Money, yeah, and then uh, ended up winning that. So like after that. And that whole experience, like, would you want to fight again and, like, take it more serious and, like, get into, like, like better shape and become a better boxer? It took or are you more so focused on, like, YouTube and... It takes up, it takes up like, a lot of time. Like, boxing, yeah. it was like, bro, when we were, when I was training, it was like, wake up, go to the gym, train. After training, go, like, run or, like, ride bike for, like, like 10 miles or something. Yeah. And then, like, after that, then I'm eating. And then after that, maybe hop in the sauna. And then I'm pretty, I'm, like, tired after that, bro. I was, yeah. like, I was pretty tired exhausted and i was just like i need a rest so yeah. then i'd like i'd just like lay down or maybe i mean we'd still we still filmed like some well, ricks was taking the heavy load on the film and he was taking yeah. editing yeah ricky took a heavy load yeah but like as you like <laughs> I, you, well, <laughs> the face <laughs> but as you like grow up obviously like you're like your things change like like jake paul is a prime example like he used to film like like kind of like kid kiddish yeah. videos and like team 10 and stuff like that and then turned into like boxing and all this stuff yeah. So, like, in the future of, like, long-term play, like, would you see yourself becoming maybe, like... like following Jake like, Paul's footsteps? Kind Well, I don't want to say that, because, like, then you're kind of just... Well, I mean, like, basically, yeah. What, do you see yourself, like, becoming, like, maybe, like, some sort of athlete or, like, trying to become an athlete? I don't know. And, like, I, taking I, it, like, more serious? I also feel like it's definitely way easier for Jake Paul to do it and have that kind of success and make, like, 40 mil in a year. Like, to yeah. have that kind of success that Jake's having... It's because, like, he's a household name. Like, yeah. everyone knows him. Yeah. Like, me and Ricky, like, we're big, yeah. but we're not to the point where it's, like, people that don't know us. Well, yeah, I'm us. saying, but, people, like, people, it's people, like a community. People, that, people like that, a, that don't know Jake Paul know Jake Paul. Yeah, like, yeah. People's yeah. parents. He's, like, an A-list celebrity. He's easily an A-list celebrity. But I'm saying, point. like, would you want to do it just for, like, fun? Because, like, you and actually enjoy it. Kind of like how I just go to the gym just because I enjoy it, not because, like, well, I that's still what I'm need saying. to get big. I feel like that's what I'm saying. I, I enjoy it, but at the same time, it's, like... Not worth your time. Yeah, yeah. it's not worth my time. Like, if, if I'm if, cost. if I'm going to take it serious and, like, 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 have more fights and, like, actually, like, get in the ring and, like, fight a couple times a year or something, yeah. it's, like, that's... You kind of got to dedicate your life to it or else you're just not going to be good. Yeah. Like it's like you yeah. can do it and have to do it and be okay. And maybe 
take a dub and an L every now and then, but it's like if you're taking L's and like who wants to watch you just I mean, get shoot, clapped. You're only like hundred. What you're 19, 20 years old, you dude. Yeah, you time, but oh, I feel like your so passion. Fast. I feel like you're so freaking fast, bro. I feel, I feel like your you passion is more in the music. And speaking of music, oh, definitely. definitely, stream NCK's new song. Well, with the homies, boys. <laughs> yes, sir. Stream it. Stream homies. it. We're with the homies right now. That's right. what the song's about. But that's basically all I wanted to talk about. Just ask about uh, your boxing and see, like... I've got an offer. I'm sure there's people out there that want to see, like, what you're going to do with boxing because they saw you fight yeah. that one time. I got offered, like, a, multiple times, like, probably, like, three or four times since my fight with DK Money. Yeah. But it was just, like, for what I was getting paid. And I know, obviously, like, in the beginning, you might not get as paid as much. So, like, say yeah, they yeah, offer, yeah. like, this amount... And then, like, say in like a couple years or something, like Jake Paul, his first fight wasn't making as much as he's yeah, making yeah, now. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. But then, uh, to get to that point where it would be worth it over like doing YouTube and like all the other stuff we're doing, it just takes up so much time. It's like, and do you like love it? You know, yeah, I like it, but it's like it's not your true passion. It's definitely job. fun, but it's not it's like a full time job. Yeah, it's full time job. It's literally like becoming a college athlete, bro. Because like when I was like totally off topic, but like. Bro, I enjoyed running in high school and like and like had fun doing it. And then like when you get to the college level, it's like, bro, that shit's a job. Like you wake up at five, you like, like you breathe running, bro. Like, yeah, I did not like like, like it. it. So that's a, how you've kind of like that. Yeah, almost. like same thing. When I played basketball, I only played basketball like for one year in high school. Yeah, like in high school. But then even that, like me and Ricky were doing YouTube at the time, and it was like, bro, like practice. There was practice every day. School is from what high school is like early it was like i had to be up at 6 a.m until like two and then practices at like three what am yeah. i gonna do from two to three nothing maybe some homework sit there and, and do then some it's homework, like boy. three to five three to five is practice and then after practice 30 minute drive home eat dinner the day's done and when are we gonna film yeah, yeah. there's nothing facts, facts, so then facts. i stopped playing basketball for like yeah. the same reason because like is it like it's for the fun but also like are you gonna go to the nba not now not now yeah, not but now. Jeremy, you might pull a jeremy lynn i might pull a jeremy lynn and walk on to harvard Dang. Yeah. I want to hear this Miami story though. Bigger All right, let's go. Let's go back to Miami. That was a nice. Miami. Thing. That was great. That was great, Mace. And that's that's actually why let's I'm wearing. Go, baby. I'm, wearing, I'm wearing the shirt because this is the shirt I was wearing when we got robbed. Yo, wasn't it like exactly a year ago? Almost. Wait, we yeah, yeah. Miami? It was almost oh, June 11th, bro. I had something on my Snapchat memories. It was us. It was me and you driving to Miami. Oh, oh so my almost God. exactly. Yeah. Yo, this is it's crazy, exactly bro. Today. No this way. Is exactly the exactly today. Drove down oh there. my, it is. It is. Bro, Yo. exact, that is weird, bro. Yo, we were yeah. in Miami a year ago today when exactly this all today. went down. So let's let's break down what happened. So what ended up happening is me and Ricky and DJ Fabuloso. Yeah. Who because we took separate trips. So I'm trying to I'm trying to organize it because like some people were there for some of it and then some people left. So who came down with me and Ricky? You and DJ. Just me, me, and DJ. me, Ricky, and DJ Fabuloso. We all go down there like a day early to see the weigh-ins and stuff, and just like see the whole entire event, see the what it's about. Social gloves, you yeah. know, the biggest in the game. Like the press, the press biggest cappers stuff, in the right? game. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you guys go down there like early, like for the press conference? Yeah, that's yeah? exactly oh. what I just said. Right, yeah, yeah, what he said. Couldn't hear you, bro. My headphones were cutting out, bro. Oh, my Take bad. My bad. Maybe I'll leave it like this. All right, so so then uh, we go down early, and then me, Ricky, and DJ Fabuloso, we know that like Austin McBroom's there. His some of his boys that were at the gym, they probably recognize me and Ricky's face, right? Like they've seen the video that we made about the whole situation. I mean, everyone we're household names <coughs> at this point. Yeah, I mean, Just TikTok kidding. went viral, everything. So definitely, people there they know us. They probably don't like us. So me, Ricky, and DJ Fab were like, "Yo, we all gotta stick together, boys. Right? No splitting up." Yeah, you know where I'm going with this, right? Yep. Oh, uh, yep. No, no splitting up. We all got to stick together. So then we're at the weigh-ins. And, um, oh, no, wait, hold up. I got to take a step back. Before we even get there. Before we even yes, get there. Yes, this was wild. Yeah, this I is forget crazy. that. Oh, my gosh, yeah. So, so sorry, let me take a spec, step back. We're driving to Miami, and we're, like, we're about to pull up on the hard rock where the weigh-ins and stuff are. We're about to pull up, and then we see a car to our left. And then I look over at them. They look over at me. They make a weird face. They're, they're, they make a face, like a disgusted face, like... Like, you know what I'm talking about? And we didn't yeah, know yeah. what was going on at the time. I was like, what's their problem? Like, why are they, why, they're in a bad mood or what? And then, um, thought nothing of it. Then me and Ricky, were, we get to the hard rock and we're like, all right, boys, stay together. You got to stick together. We go, we start watching the weigh-ins and stuff. And then, uh, like the final press conference or whatever. And then literally while, while we're watching, while we're watching them, we look down and then we see those guys 
that were that made the disgusted face, they we saw them sitting like with Austin McBroom. They're part of Austin McBroom's right. like crew mm-hmm. or his brother's crew, and he, they were down there with him. And then they're like looking at us and they're like pointing at us, pointing at yeah. we're in the stands. What? And right now it's just me, Ricky, and DJ Fab. Austin McBroom is like this. He's like, he didn't see us. He didn't no, see us. Austin didn't and see he's us. Like, but the other guys are literally all over pointing, and then we're like, oh shoot. Yeah, they're pointing at us, and we're like, all right, boys, we got we got to like move seats so they don't know where we are. So we like duck down, and we're like going like, bro, this. I don't know what they're gonna do, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Pull yeah. that is Blakey. You never <laughs> no, know. You never know. You never know, especially nowadays. Like as sad as it is, say like you, it's like scary, bro. So I was like, begin cheese, man. You never know. <laughs> so so more than ever, me and Ricky were all like, and DJ Fab were like, bro, we have to stick together because if one of us gets caught solo. Oh, it might be over for our cheeks, you know? It might clap our cheeks. Yeah. Might actually clap in Could cheek, clap. Uh. <laughs> So then what ends up happening is, of course, we forget something in the van. And someone's got to go get it. We all don't want to go, you know? I'm like, I don't want to go. Ricky's like, oh, I don't want to go. And DJ Fab's like, I don't trust him to lock the car. So he wasn't even... <laughs> 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 I wasn't going to let him go alone, you know? <laughs> If you really know DJ, it's just so funny, bro. But you know what I'm saying? Like, like I get paranoid. Like, I don't. I I just like some people. They don't like just everyone. They don't care about (laughs) other people's stuff as much as their own. So I'm like, I gotta go, so I know that the car's locked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that nothing happens to it. So I'm like, all right, fine. I'll go to the car and get the get the camera battery because we need it. Okay. Yeah. Boys, I'll be back in a minute. So I go. I go to get the camera battery. Boom, do go in the van, get the camera battery, blah, blah, blah. Walk in, start going down the elevator. I start going down the elevator, like to the main lobby of the Hard Rock. And then and then I, I get down there. The elevator door opens right there. Boom. It, it opens. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The elevator door opens. And then standing right in front of me is Austin and McBroom's boys that we saw pointing at us, that we saw on oh. the way to hey, the Hard Rock. this is rock. where you pull out the good smiley way, boys. No, nah, bro. I didn't do that. <laughs> what I, do you do then? <laughs> bro, he was about to say. I was about to say. But then they're just looking at me, and then I look at them, you, man. and then they recognize me, and then, and then uh, I just Fudge. I just started walking away, and then as I'm Wait, walking away, how'd you walk away? You were in the elevator. Well, the door opened. Yeah, I was getting out. They were coming in. They didn't block you. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't put two and two together yet. But as uh, I'm walking away, they're not that fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah you know they're not good math. Slow. You know, two and two. They probably thought it was like five. But then as I'm as I'm I like I like walk by them. I walk by them, Evan. And then they're all looking like this. They're all looking like this. And then as I'm I'm, I'm like about to open the door to go inside of the actual hotel, mm-hmm. they're like, Hey yo, that's the Ireland boy. No way, they really said that. Yes, bro. Like yelled Whoa. it. And I, I, I just like turn no. around and look at him. And I just keep walking, and I'm like, I just got to go like into like a more public area because no, I was yeah, in like yeah. I was in like a side elevator, bro. There's no one there, and I'm like, uh-huh. I just got to keep walking. And I look behind me, and luckily they didn't follow me. But of course, the one time where we split up, it was crazy that happened. Crazy. But that's not even the crazy part. That was just like a little warm up. This whole situation is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, it's crazy how it all oh, ties yeah. together. This might be the world record longest pod for us. <laughs> Bro, getting, it's a great story. Juicy, I think, the engage, I I think this is going to... Then I think people I are engaged. It. I love it. Yeah. The storytelling is on point. Yeah, I love it. All right, let's go. So then after that, I meet up with Ricky and DJ Fab. I'm like, yo, boys, you won't believe what happened. Of course, the one time I go solo, I almost oh, get my what? cheeks clapped. So then nothing ends up happening the rest of the day. And then I believe the next day is the actual fight in the Hard Rock Stadium. And that's when Mason and Evan come down, right? Mm-hmm. So Mason and Evan, they drive down to Miami. We all meet up. We're a little squad. We're a little squad. We watch the fight, whatever. It, it was good. It was good production. Like I said, it was a good fight. I'll give them that. You know, obviously it was good production. That's what happens when you spend a hundred million dollars that you don't have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then after that, we watch it and it was good. And then that night, there's oh, well, there's a bunch of people there watching the so fight. Big happened. names, influencers. All the all the people fighting were influencers. A lot of big names. <clears throat> there's going to be after parties. That's just what happens oh, yeah. with events like this. Mm-hmm. So me and Ricky and mm-hmm. all of us were like, all right, boys, what are we doing? Let's go to an after party or something. Are we getting you still with us at the time? <laughs> no, no, no. So like, I like I think night, you left the to night go before. Back and- it was honestly pretty crazy, bro. <laughs> I We have to like backtrack a little bit because it was just a little mini story, but... No, no, I don't think so, we are. I don't think no, we are. No, no, I think no. we're skipping it. We're skipping yeah, it. Yeah, oh, that's too much of a story. Right, yeah, Mason yeah, left. Yeah, that's that's but it was the story. Dope I got to Mason meet. left to go hang out with a girl. Which happens to be my ex-girlfriend. Wow. Wait, for real? Yeah, that was a very first like that, that was like the one of the first nights I ever like uh hung out with my ex-girlfriend. Yeah. Dang, imagine mm. you would have stayed. You would have got robbed. But 
Yeah. yeah. Everything now happens for a reason. And, actually, and so if I was there, we probably... Yo, if I was there, if I'm being 100% honest... Oh, cool. With my common sense, I would not have parked in some random street. But they, easy to say when you're not there. Easy to say when you're not there. I feel like I usually catch stuff like that. I'm usually pretty aware, but I don't know, I know. man. You were just like, you're just such you're in the, the moment, moment, bro. Let's we, get back we're to in Miami, we're getting, we're getting bro. Side with the boy. We're getting sidetracked. We're getting sidetracked. Could have saved us. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting sidetracked. Sidetracked. Hey, peep the rain. It's raining right now. It's a little vibe. Uh, find it kind of a coincidence. All right, let's let's get back to the story. So we watched the fight. Mason ends up leaving like right after the fight, I believe, or something like that. Yeah. Right. So then it's just me, Ricky, Evan, and DJ Fabuloso. We're all, we're all mobbing around together, trying to find an yeah. after party to go to or something. Yeah. And uh, we ended well, up. We had some other people with us, but yes, <laughs> we can't talk about that, though, right? Well, we ended up going to Blue Face well, Bus Down the, After Party, right? Well, I feel like it's part of the story, though. It is part of the because, story, because but I don't know if Ricky wants to tell that No, part. no, it doesn't matter. It was Yeah, we can tell it. Why okay, wouldn't right, you want to tell it? Say, I'm just going to say we had other people with us, unless yeah. you want to tell it. Yeah, right. just tell other, it. You got to tell it now, bro. Yeah, yeah, okay, some, so we, we pulled geez. up. Do you mind if I tell it? Bro, up, freaking tell up. the damn story. Up, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> we're having a little discussion in the middle just so we know, okay, booze? We're like we're like downtown Miami. It feels like we're downtown. Like pretty. Oh, we were downtown. Skyscrapers, super nice club. One of the nicest clubs there. But we're just like on a little like back, like a side street almost. Right. I, I, the thing that I didn't know about Miami is that I didn't know that the club is in like such like a bad area. It's such a nice club, like yeah, still world area. famous club, still but it's a bad, bad area. area. I didn't I didn't know it was yeah. like that. That's how yeah. Miami be like it being super nice, then super bad, super nice, yeah. super bad. Yeah, it's kind of just all mixed. It's just all bad, really. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. Speaking of Miami, I'm actually going there in a couple of days. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. But anyway, yeah. So we had all these people with us. We're getting ready to go into the club. It's dark. There's like no lights on the street. I don't know, but all these cars are there. So we're like, oh, well, that was red flag number parks. one. That's red flag number yeah. one. No, <laughs> no street lights. There's no ha- parking anywhere. Like all the cars were there. So we're like, well, all right, well, where are we gonna go? This everyone yeah. else is here. We might as well go here. Yeah. And there's an empty spot right there. Yeah. And so we start getting ready. We got all the doors open. The trunk is open. All our stuff is right there in plain sight. And the, and the people that we had with us. They were taking a little bit of time forever. to get ready. They were taking forever to get ready. And we're like, yo, hurry up and get ready. Like, how are you? You're getting ready in the trunk of a van. Yeah, come on. Like, come on. You just, yeah, come on. You knew we were going to go try and go to an after party after the fight. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. You weren't ready? We also yeah. probably should have We also probably should have thought of stuff. As we rolled in the parking spot, you could hear, like, gr- uh, glass crunch <laughs> as <laughs> yeah. the car rolled up because there was a bunch of broken glass everywhere. But we didn't think nothing we of it. We were just trying to get lit it in Miami, Miami, man. It was Miami, bro. You expect that, you know? Yeah. We were just trying to have a good time that exactly. night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We weren't really thinking. Yeah, we definitely yeah. weren't. <laughs> well, clearly. So, after 30 minutes of those people getting ready... Finally, we close all the doors. After massive attention has probably been shined on us. Oh, yeah. People are walking past us. Like, the they see the hella time. stuff in our van because the door has yeah. been open. Them getting yeah. ready for 30 minutes. Yeah. We're like, oh, bro, take out. So then uh, we try to go into the club, and then it turns out, I don't know, it was like a pop at night or whatever. Cover to get into the club was like, what, for a guy, like 200 I want to say it was a couple hundred or a few hundred dollars. It was a couple hundred. I was mind Just blown. to get in. Just to get in. Not yeah, for a table. Let's pull out that blue check mark, bro. Ain't no one care no, about don't matter mark. there. Don't matter there, in bro. In Miami, they said blue check mark. Who, boy? They said blue. We just everyone wanna, has blue check in there, bro. They said we want to see the blue bills. Yeah. Find your blue check mark. Yeah. Everybody yeah. got one of those. Like literally, everyone had one of those. Everyone that we were with. It like, was definitely. It, I think it was the nicest club in Miami. Like one of them. Yeah. I forget the name of it. I think, I think it was eleven. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's yeah, not it was eleven. Was. I think Bryce ended up going in there and Hashtag Stranger a, Things. A couple other, <laughs> a couple other <laughs> people like that, uh, fought that night. Ended up going. And uh, going in that club, but then we were like, "All right, you know, two hundred dollars to get in the club, and nah. eh, eh, it ain't even worth it." Like, there's other stuff going on that's yeah. like, it'd great. be just as fun. Yeah, it'd be just as fun. And yeah, then we yeah. ended up hearing about a a blue face blue little face party. House party. Little, little it was little pump and little blue pump face and blue performing face. and having a house party. Yeah, and it was like some mansion like on the water in Miami. So and we're like, it was hot. It was there. nice. I think Bankroll Hill. It was pretty lit. It too. was pretty lit, dude. I wish I went. So it was probably the most hottest party I've ever. It was lit, bro. It was lit. So and then, everyone was there. There were so many just random like yeah. people that were just like, yo, I've seen that person before like on TV. Austin Mahone. Yeah. Um, a bunch of YouTubers. Marco, yeah. the who, shoe who designer. The, guy, the, the Marco, super yeah. tall guy and, with, on TikTok. Oh, the, the curly oh Harry. Hair. Oh, and he wears like Harry. those goofy yeah. glasses, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, I remember yeah, yeah. you guys sending like videos of him. Yeah, yeah. bro. There's there was hella people there. And mainly Lil Pump and Blueface, they were performing. And we're like, yo, let's go. And then we pull up to the gate, and this is how some of these parties work. Like you know how you said the blue check mark thing? Oh yeah. It didn't. It doesn't work to get in the clubs in Miami. But the house parties. But the house party. 
Bro, literally, there's like arm security, like with like a little, like a Glock on his side. Literally, yeah, like bulletproof vest, everything. And there's like hundred, like maybe like a hundred people standing outside of the gate of this house trying to get in the party, like and fish, insane. like a feeding frenzy, like ha! Yeah. Like me, let I've me in. So like how'd you me. how'd you guys get in? Well, that's what we're getting to, yeah. my boy. Yeah. You think I'm just gonna not tell that part of the story? Maybe. All right, so there's hella people trying to get in. <laughs> hey, me, me, me! And then some guy who is helping run the party comes out, and he's like, he's like, yo. Yo, um, we got my boy. He's a TikToker right here. Who's friends with him? Who that that can come in? And then we see the guy's TikTok. He had like maybe like a mill or two on TikTok. And and then the dude who's running the party's like, dude, that's crazy. Like you got to come in, bro. And then we're like, oh, dude, a mill or two on TikTok. Purely about clout. Yeah, we were like, crazy. dude, if he's got a mill or two on TikTok, me and Ricky got four mill on yeah. YouTube, which and is, a, and a mill on TikTok and a mill on yeah. TikTok. We're definitely gonna get into this party, like. That's just how that's just how the game works. So he, he was, yeah, he so was right. literally telling people like, "Yo, pull out your phones. Let me see your yeah. Let me see that bank yeah. account, boy." No, he literally was he, like, he, that. Le- he left and then he came back, right? And yeah. then he was like, "Anyone else?" Like he literally was like, "Anyone else popping?" And yeah. then Nick and I go, Nick and I go, "We have five, we have four mil on YouTube." And he goes, "On YouTube, come in, <laughs> yeah. boy." Normally, I'm not like the, I'm not the type of person to just like yeah, I meet someone new and be like, "Yo, I got four mil on YouTube. What's up, man?" You had to, but though. he was like in that type of situation. I was like, "Hell yeah, I got four mil." <laughs> <laughs> this is me and my brother. We run the channel. We got our boy Evan. Let us in. And he's We're like, filmer, dude, come yeah. in, bro. He's Whatever like, right you away. Want. Whatever you want, my boy. The party's yeah. over there. Have a good time. And I was like, hey, thank yeah. you, bro. It was like a pool inside the house, too. It was like a crazy yeah, house. It was an indoor it's pool, the, it's bro. It's the craziest house I think I've ever been I think, to, bro. I mean, uh, this is pretty lit, but... You know. It had like the it, steps. It was, it, was, it, was, it was more dope than this house. It, ha- it had like the stepping stones the, with water around it. You know those ones where it's yeah. like... Serious? Yeah. Like a like yeah, like a river in the middle of the house or some shit. It was crazy. It was a nice house, you know? Free food, free drinks, bartenders, uh, everything, or what? Not free food, but there's free, free drinks, drinks and everything. Like yeah. water and not not non water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's free yeah. club water. Yeah, club club water. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Dang, all right. And there's doll beverages too. And then we we were turning up, having a good time. Little pumps there, and then Blue Face they're performing, and then it was just like a good time. We were lit and just we meeting were, people yeah. and just turning up in Miami, doing what you do in Miami, I guess, right? Yeah. We were just trying to have a good time that night. Sending it. Yeah, we were sending it. It was a full send that night for sure. Oh, yeah. So then we're sending it for a good while. <laughs> Meanwhile, keep in mind, the way that we got to this party, since the person who told me about the party, they, they texted me and they said, don't drive here because parking, there's going to be no parking. So we're like, all right, we'll just leave the car parked right outside the club yeah. in Miami yeah. because you know <clears throat> it's a nice club. Good. Gotta be like a somewhat safe area. The car's gonna yeah. be fine. We'll just yeah, pick you're like downtown. Yeah, we're downtown. We'll just pick it up after, after the party. Yeah, and then and DJ went somewhere else. Yeah, DJ Fab went somewhere else. I still not to this day do not know where he went, but no he went somewhere. Man, yeah. So it's just me, Ricky, and Evan turning yeah, up with blue face in Miami. D- turn up with blue face and little pump at the party, and then the car is by the club, yeah. and then a couple hours later go by, and then the party we're like, all right, let's dip. So then we ended up dipping, and then we found a place to stay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, uh, Are we going to leave you had a place to stay. Wait, where did you stay? What? Airbnb. Yeah, some Airbnb. Not our. You yeah, guys can say. Air, you guys can say. Don't matter to me. Uh, we met some people. We met uh, a couple of Met a couple of Not me. They met two. I was solo. Mm-hmm. Ricky, Ricky, like happens to like stop at Walmart, get a sleeping bag, and he like makes camp out on like a park bench somewhere. Right, we, I laid on the ground. We <laughs> met two shawties at the party, and then, well, you didn't even meet him at the party. We kind of pulled up with him. I don't even know where we met them. We were just all of a sudden we're with them at the fight, I, like, I think. But yeah, uh, maybe, and then yeah. we were hanging out with them, and then we're like, all right, let's go. And then we kind of told him, we're like, yo, we don't even have a hotel or anything. So yeah. like, oh yeah, we, we were like, we were uh, like asking that question, like, so where are y'all staying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what happened the first night out in Miami too when I was there too. Yeah. yeah. On the, yeah, we're standing there, loud, like, music's going, everyone's partying. All of a sudden, I just hear Nick go, so where y'all staying? Or, like, or like y'all it got probably, Airbnb? It probably sounded like, you know, like I was trying to, like, get with one of them or something. But, look, I'm just trying to find a place to stay, yeah. my boy. Yeah. The boys save that money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they seem like cool people, so we're like, all right. Exactly. So, uh, they ended up letting us yeah. be so kind, and they let us stay at their Airbnb. Shouts out to them. So kind. Even one of the girls was kind enough to let <laughs> NCK lay in the bed. I laid in the bed, yeah. Well, I know. She was kind for you. She was kind. Yeah, she was very... She was too kind. She was too kind. <laughs> Even I got was, food for the buds. Yeah, she that like Airbnb ordered was... Uber Eats for y'all. Oh, we did Airbnb. Yeah, for, uh, I fell Uber asleep. Yeah, yeah. I fell asleep. That was lit. Speaking of Uber Eats, I'm getting a little hungry myself. <laughs> but then but then after, after, this is this is where things start to ramp up again because uh, this is where 
right before this is right before we get robbed. Like this is the morning we get robbed. Oh, I can take it over here if you wouldn't like. All right. Let's just point out, bro. Like the ho- the the place that we stayed a couple nights before that I think you were just talking about. Like that was like finesse. Yeah, finesse in the fight. We got super close on the floor. So we're like, oh yeah, we we got on the floor of the fight. We just finessed. We walked in, right? Like we were finesse after finesse after finesse, but we were just we were just thought we were king. Cloud nine. Oh yeah, we were all cloud nine. We were king. We're on a great point. That's a great point. We're on a great wave and just just W after W. Life was good, bro. We were on a winning (laughs) streak. We were like we were like Jake Paul undefeated. We were just till this point we were like, yo, Miami is lit. (laughs) <laughs> and we we literally, we literally thought we ran Miami, bro. We <laughs> finesse, bro, we finessed everything that whole literally trip. Literally everything. Yeah. And everything. literally, me, Ricky, Everything was free. Everything was just yeah. lit. Me, Ricky, and Evan, that morning, we leave the, the girls' Airbnb, and we're, we're all like, yo, let's go, boy. Dude. This was a great trip in Miami, you know? It was a great time. Dude, yeah. We had a blast. Literally, one of the best trips with the boys ever up till this point. crazy, yeah. We were, dude, we have the video of us in the elevator? Yep. Moments before we get... Robbed and me, Evan, and Nick are just lit going hey, at like 10 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> That's that was us leaving. I'll pop up the clip, but this is this is us in the elevator leaving the Airbnb that we finessed with those yeah. girls. Yeah. So that's us leaving, and then we start the walk back to our car. It was, it was only like like I don't couple know, couple minutes, couple yeah, minute like walk. A... And we start walking back, and then this is where things actually get crazy. It was insane. The whole walk back, we're literally just dancing around like boys. Oh, we're we're just like hey, like dude, good time, boys. Oh, and yeah. we're walking back, and we're literally one block away from our car, and we pass by this homeless guy, and we had like a couple like bananas and some food in the car, and we were like, yo. Uh, we were going to go back to the car and bring him some food just because we were like, we were feeling good. Everyone was feeling good. But as we're walking by, we look at his shirt and it literally says winner, just like our winner song merch. Like exactly. It, Little did we it know was, it was the exact, the it was merch. our shirt. He was wearing our shirt. But we, not only was he wearing our merch, but that was literally your shirt. It was yeah. literally my shirt. At the time, I had no idea. But we were like, yo, everything was just going good. We were like, dude, yeah. he's a supporter. Yeah. But he was like, <laughs> bro, he's not, he, he was, was, he was, was homeless. like homeless. So it was, we were like confused on how he got the shirt. It didn't register. It, it didn't, didn't register. Right but then we were like, yo, that's a sign. Let's go get him a meal and yeah. bring it to him. Like yeah, be yeah. good people. You know, that, yeah. what's the odds of that? You we know, just felt like everything signs. was going like a line. We're like, bro, like he's wearing our merch. This is meant to be. We have to help him. We're yeah. still so happy. We're like yeah. so happy. You know, nothing could go wrong. Yeah. We're like, dang, bro. The Miami supports, bro. Yep. And yeah. we're walking, we're walking. And then. <laughs> Dude, I forget who gets the car first, but I remember as we're walking up, Yo. yeah, I see all the windows shattered, glass on the ground, and we turn around, and everyone is like, bro, well, what I think, the heck? Bro, I think, like, okay, so, like, as a joke, like, all of us will be like, like, if something happens, we'll just go, no, like, as a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, people will be like, oh, he's joking, okay. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, it's something he's Like, nothing, exaggerating. Re- nothing serious happened. I think yeah. I walked around to the side, and I saw all the glass on the ground, and I think I, all I said was, no. And, and then you guys came around. Yeah. And I was just like, no. Like, this can't be real. Like it, it took, like, a minute to, like, process that, like, we actually got yeah. our car broken into yeah. and got all of our stuff robbed. Like, all of our valuable stuff. There's, like, some clothes left, but literally laptops stolen with, like, a bunch of my songs on it and yeah. just, like, files that we'll never get again. I yeah. didn't even care about, like, the computer or the camera that got stolen. It was mainly, like, the stuff that was on them. DJ like, Fab got his laptop stolen. Yep. His camera stuff. Still don't know where that man is at this point, right? DJ Fab, no. Yeah, we we weren't with him. It was we just, oh, with him. Yeah, sorry, it was just yeah, us three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He had yeah. no idea, bro, that all of his, like... Yeah, he didn't know. He had, like, shoes, like, Jordans that got stolen, a bunch yeah. of stuff. His computer camera. Imagine Every. imagine how he felt when we called him and we're like, yo, bro. He probably thought we were pranking. Luckily, he didn't have many clothes to steal, though. Or he shorts. didn't even have underwear, bro. He <laughs> yeah. said he only brought one pair of underwear for a three-day trip. How do yeah. you forget that? <laughs> so then we're looking around, and then, bro, it was just crazy... That we're like, yo, we just got robbed. And we're like, yo, what do we do? What do we do? Yeah. So we do the thing that, you know, anyone would think of. You call the cops. Mm-hmm. Got robbed? Let's call the cops. Mm-hmm. So let me call the cops. It took a long time to show up, like uh, probably like an hour or two to yeah. actually show up. And we were telling them and we're like, yo, maybe that homeless guy over there that has our shirt on has it. Yeah. So they go over there, they interview him and they're like, hmm. He doesn't have it. I was like, can you check his tent or check something, bro? (laughs) Like, I was like, bro, he probably has it. He's wearing the shirt. But they came to the conclusion he probably just, like, found the shirt on the ground. Yeah. And they basically, they said they can't do anything to him because they don't have any evidence. And I was like, bro, he's wearing the shirt, bro. Literally wearing. He's a little bit of, like, an older guy. So they were like, he couldn't have carried all your stuff. He was too, like, 
But maybe like his boys. I don't know yeah. how that a works. A whole posse of just like all these brothers. All those came along and gripped our stuff. <laughs> brothers. No, bro. Like actually, bro. I like, know you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like who knows what could happen, bro. Who knows, bro? But like, lo- he's, he's not just gonna confess and be like, yeah, I, I took yeah. it. But like he clearly had the shirt on. And we're asking, think we're, we're literally asking the cops, like, what do we do? And they're basically like, they, it was so crazy how casual it was for them to say, this happens all the time. You, yeah, all the stuff's that. probably gone. You have to just make a report and re- report it to, like, insurance. Yeah. yeah. But That's it, basically it, what they said. Uh, nothing happened, though. Like, you make a report and nothing yeah. happens. Yeah, nothing happens. We're like, all right. You pretty much took that out. And then we're like, what can you do? And they're like, <clears throat> yeah, we can't, we can't do anything. This just happens here. Yeah. 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 I think she said that. She's like, yeah, this just kind of happens here. You're like, you she's like, this careful. is your guy's first time in Miami. And we're like, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> she's like, I can tell. I can tell. You, know, you don't park on the street with no light right by the club. Yeah. We're like, shoot, man. We didn't know. And then we actually look behind yeah. our car and there's sh- literally shattered glass right behind our car too. And yeah. then from someone else's car that got yeah. probably jacked. After the fact, she tells us you guys didn't go in and touch anything, right? But obviously, right when we get to the car, we're like looking for all our stuff, checking through our bags, and we're like, "No, we did," because we were like seeing what got stolen. And she was like, "Well, if you guys didn't touch anything, we could have taken fingerprints and probably found the person." Like, dang, my bad. We ain't crime scene investigators. Well, yeah. now we know. If you ever walk into a crime, just look at it. Yeah, don't touch. But bro, it's like, yeah. you're flustered. And we're like, I'm yeah. like looking to see if the computer's there. Obviously, I'm gonna look around. I'm just gonna be like, oh, police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. But yeah, we basically took out and then, so we went from a massive winning streak. And then I remember after that, we were driving home, all the windows like broken and shattered. <laughs> we're driving home, halfway home, just starts pouring rain. Pouring rain. I'm sitting, the, the shattered window is right here and I'm sitting right here and it's pouring. So I'm literally just holding the shirt up because rain is yeah. just flooding the car. Little bits of shattered glass breaking off every now and then too when the rain yep. hits it. And I'm like, bro, we're just That's taking so bad, L's. Dude. We're all wearing, like, the same clothes for the past, like, 24, 48 hours or whatever. Yep. Nothing but your phone and your, like, wallet. Not even your wallet, bro. I lost all my wallet. But, yeah. Everything. Literally nothing. That was one of the fattest hours we've ever taken. Oh, and huge And then the, the lost streak continues because we get home. As soon as we get home, we park. IBD comes outside. He's like, yo, what happened? And I'm like, yo, this all happened. And he, he was going somewhere. I think he was going to the store to, like, get something. IBD, 10 minutes after we get home, backs up straight into my I-8, bro, and scrapes the whole side. Literally right after the same day, I'm pretty sure. It was just like L after L. It was like win, 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 L, L, L. And then after, I think later that night, you hit an owl. Oh, I did hit an owl while we were driving. But it lived. I don't don't know why I'm laughing. That's sad. But it lived, though. No, I literally saw, I was driving, and he, the owl was right here. It was right here, and I could see it ahead, and I was like, stay on the side, bud. Stay on the side. And he literally waits like he was going to get an insurance claim from it and jumps in front of the car, gets hit, it rolls off the top of my car, no. falls behind it, and it's sitting in the road. There's a truck behind me. It stops, and we're like, bro, Ooh. there's no way that happened. Then the owl just, like, gets up, flies away. Just trying to get that baggie. Yeah. No, literally, it looked like it. It looked like it. <laughs> yep. He was like, yo, this is an I-8. This is why I'm going to get hit, boys. <laughs> <laughs> the boy got money. He, like, turned back to his, he turned back to his uh, owl friends in the tree. He's like, this is it. We make it out of who with this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's gonna do it though. We've been rolling for a fat minute. Maybe yeah. a two hour pod. I think that was like two and a half hours, bro. But bro, honestly, there's still like some more stories you could tell. So you many more. Tell. But we might need a part two with yeah, you know, we need a part two with EC. EC part two. Because this one's juicy. There's stuff juicy. on there's stuff on tour that happened that was super sketch. Oh my oh, yeah. so many right, stories, bro. bro. Yeah. Well, I, we're say, gotta save that for next yeah, time yeah, though. Yeah.